Yo, this Whiskey No Chaser podcast, the illest podcast on the planet. It's me, Hector. Today I got two special guests. I got Kev and Rio. These dudes are gun tactical uh, experts, yes. can we say? Yes, yeah, see, you can say that. You can say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> around here, you can, around say, here, you can say that, yeah. Yeah, around here, definitely, because in Jersey, there's not a lot of people that know how to handle uh, a, a pistol. Firearm, yeah. yeah, a firearm. Uh, yeah, man, so uh, who, who wants to go first? Um, you? Well, you know, like... Uh, we have a you could call us <laughs> you could call us BTS man uh it's, it's real simple it's like a it's this little thing we got going on man it's and it's more of like a movement cuz um not a lot of people are self aware of what's going on with the world and firearms and even how to handle one properly or even just being being even respon uh, responsible enough human to own a firearm, you know what I'm saying? And that's what BTS is about, you know, basic tactical shit, you know, just <laughs> teaching, you know, it. teaching people, you know, teaching people that you have a right to bear arms, but you have a right to bear arms responsibly, you know, we can't be out here wilding out and just, you know, acting a fool, you know, that's how people and the establishment takes like the it takes like you know just flips the script and uses the the positive as a negative you know what i mean so that's that's you know that's what we're we're main focused around you know at bts and that's what that's what we represent right here you know what i mean yeah word word how about you real me Talk uh my name is rio uh handle uh keely 1791 if you want to check me out on g uh kevs is kp underscore tactical you can check him out on ig yep. um I'm basically uh, part of BTS. Me and Kev started BTS, uh, basically tactical shit. Um, like he, just to piggyback on what he said is, uh, we're just basically uh, trying to get people self-aware around the you know firearms and and, and things like that. I feel like um, there's a lot of uh, stigma and um, unknown, and we're just trying to shed a little bit of light and you know have fun with it with you know with our own style that that we do. But um, that we definitely have some good stuff lined up coming down the line. And um, uh, check us out. Yeah, man, you guys, um, and it's good because, like I said, in Jersey, we live in an area that we don't have a lot of, it's not gun friendly here. No, not you at all. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, uh, it's one of the top five states of that, like, non fucking non friendly. Like the you most know I mean? the yeah, stringent wanna, gun laws. Top yeah, five. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Bro. Like, we can't carry our shit. Like, nope. you know, it, this makes no sense. If I'm not a violent person, I don't have any past fucking crazy shit. And, man, trust me, I can kill somebody with a bat. I could do whatever. I could stab somebody the fuck up. Exactly. It's, it's a gun doesn't make me doesn't make a different. killer all of a sudden. It, if anything, it makes it known. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it, it, it's easier to fucking get somebody with a with a blunt weapon or like a knife or something. You get a you shoot somebody, people are gonna know. It's loud. You, you know what I mean? People I can are gonna choke you out with your tie, bro. You going to work? <laughs> you going to work, son? I'll choke you out with your tie, bro. See you. Know what I mean? You feel me? So at the end of the day, there's the, you know we gotta really put in perspective. And I know that there's a lot of dangerous people out there that should not have weapons. And that's what that's uh, you know. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are on. You know, you guys you know want to make people aware. Like at the end of the day, you, you you gotta know yourself. If you're a person that's always wilding out and you're in a car bugging out all the time without a gun, hopping out and bugging out, you sir should not have a gun. Exactly. Miss Karen or whoever you are, exactly. you should not have a gun. <laughs> you should not be in the front lawn with your stupid husband. Ken, or whatever the fuck his name is, uh, pointing guns at peaceful protesters. Today's it's, message. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> it's um. It's, what's uh? What, I want to dive into that stigma real fast. I've been Please. I've been uh I've been watching a lot of like videos about that and how you uh I I'm I when it comes to problems I like to look at it at a third person's perspective like as like as watching it from above almost yeah. Like there's God, definitely two sides. You know yeah. what I'm saying like yeah. uh. And with that situation, I was um, I did a not a lot of research, but I'm I'm into obviously a lot of gun stuff. So I'm I'm into the gun podcast stuff. I'm into like the, and a lot of strangely, a lot of the gun world is defending those people because uh, apparently the the media would twist like the the vision the, the what's happening with the protesters that they were saying that they were apparently peacefully protesting, but. It turns out that I mean, not that it turns out. I don't know this like for a fact, but this is what's being said that that they were don't like spread rumors, Kev. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> let me not start the fire, man. Let me not start the fire. But um, it was heard that they were like tearing down their gates and stuff like that. that yeah, I were, definitely seen the pictures that you're that talking about. They were like about. tearing yeah. down their gates and stuff like that. And then those 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 guys came out like uh, that the husband and wife came out with the uh, with their firearms. You know, I I what what I support is the. The, the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms, the right. way they did it is not, it's not the way you should do it. There you, you go. Understand? 
you know, there's ways to do it. You know, you, you don't you don't walk outside with your gun ready. You know, you have it at a down position. It's in a safe position. You know, you don't have your finger on the trigger. You're not pointing it at people. But, you know, you just exactly, you know, you have it out just to let people know, like, just relax. Like, you know, like, leave me alone. Like, back up. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, and, and, and that's just it. You know, you just have to do it correctly. You know, and that's it. And the, the, the problem with this world is a lot of people don't do it correctly. And then once people don't do it correctly, it gets like, you know, glor- like glorified and on the media. And then that's what people run with. And at the end of the day, I mean, I don't support, I, I kind of support both sides. Because at the end of the day, I support the First Amendment, which is to, to the right to, to peacefully protest yeah. and speak what's on your mind. And I also support the Second Amendment, which is the right to bear arms. So it's like, ugh, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's more of a, it's more of a like, more of a, uh, 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 not. It's more of a thing that's like just. I guess if you were there, maybe you would have like. Uh, their property's in a weird place, bro. Yeah, man. It's, right. I was looking <laughs> like their lawn. Is, there, is that a lawn or a sidewalk? What is this? <laughs> what? Hey, man, you rich. Yeah. You rich. Get a fucking that's, gated place, bro. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. For real. Right, so, they they so, got money. Like they should not be living there. But yeah, that it does look like it's very easy to just walk up onto their front door. Okay, so so from from what I heard is basically um it's the, they were going to protest onto the uh the mayor's uh the mayor's house. Yeah. But it's actually a gated community. So along the way, I guess the uh, I guess they they mistook the house for for the mayor's house. And they started acting a little rowdy, and I guess that's what set them off in the first place. The way they went See, about I get it that, though. is I also get is, it. Uh, is not the right thing, yeah. but the what what they did was rowdy. I get you them know? being upset, yeah, exactly. and, and, and coming out to, to just people, tell people, "Hey, man, it's not the mayor or whatever. This is not the mayor's house." Exactly. And shit, I get, it, I respect that, but um, definitely pointing, you know, having your finger on the trigger, pointing a gun at anybody mm-hmm. that's not. A, a physical threat to you is not cool, man. Yeah. I don't even want to play like that. I don't even play with an empty gun pointing exactly. at people, bro. Exactly. You know, because that's how you get used to doing that mm-hmm. shit. By mistake one day, slap, you know, your your yeah, friend's you head is all over the side of your car. It's not cool, it man. Happens, I don't want that. Bro. It happens, and I've seen videos. Of I it. saw a video of some dumb bitch with with, with a dude in a oh, car. The Facebook live video. Yeah, oh, my nigga. My and God. she just she she grabs the gun and starts pointing. He's like, "Yo, you scared me." And it, cause it's scared, like, bitch, you can't point that at nobody unless this is what you're trying to do. Yeah. She's fucking playing around. Yo, that's the scariest thing in the world, man. Dumb. That's why I don't play with guns ever. And if I'm in a room and somebody like I've been around illegal guns. And everybody that I've been around that's illegal, have their, they're very responsible. Yeah. They've been responsible yeah. with it. They just probably can't, they can't get a gun license, so they have, but they have to protect themselves. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But they've been responsible. But when I see somebody wanting to play, I'm like, whoa, I got to get out of here right yeah, now, man. Sure. I'm not trying to be that guy all yeah. over that back yeah, there. Yeah, nah, I ain't trying to catch it straight to the face. <laughs> Fuck man. that. Nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm straight. Cameras and shit and just fucking around. Even if, even Rappers if, doing that. Yeah, man. man. I know. It's, and, it's, and it sucks, man, because, bro, it's like, Rap, like these rappers are doing it, and then this shit is getting glorified by, uh, with uh, with the intent of aggression. And one thing at BTS, like solutions that we're about, is self defense. That's all. That's what I it should be about, bro. That's exactly. About. That's why in all those videos, that most of the videos you see that that I do my draws in, I have my hands up, like if I'm surrendering. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the only time, it, or if my life is threatened, that's the only time I'm gonna take it to that level. You know what I'm saying? Of it's course. Not, it's not gonna. It's never gonna be no like. Never gonna be on no beef. It's yeah, get the fuck out of here. I gotta go fight a fair one. Let me yeah. bring my gun. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, bro. Never, never. No. <laughs> you know, it's it's ridiculous. And then that's how it gets portrayed. And that's how a lot of a lot of people who like, you know, who are just who want that who want that fucking that Instagram attention clout. and that fucking clout and all the bitches and you know, they do that type of stuff. They're thinking it's it's cool, man. And then like some of the females like low not low key like that stuff, but it's just like no, no, you said it, sir. Oh, Low key, they, high key, they, high key. They high like key. it. <laughs> they like it, ladies and gentlemen. Like, oh, my man's dangerous. I'm with a dangerous guy. <laughs> I mean, but I guess the the, the, the fact of when, when protection comes into play, I guess you know that's a. That's it's a, a natural um, inclination for women. Right. To want to be with protected. a tough man, yeah, exactly. exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they want to be protected. I get it. Yeah, it's, you know it's, what I'm it's saying? Human nature. You know what I'm saying? It's human nature. It's just when it gets portrayed in a in a it's a non non like not. It's not feasible, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not like it's not right. It's just too much. It's too aggression. It's it's more like me, man. I'm I'm you know I'm I'm pretty sure you you like a peaceful dude. You like a peaceful dude. I look like a peaceful dude. But I'm pretty sure if anybody fucking wanted to come at us sideways, we can take it to a next level. Oh, let's you know? go. You but I don't want to, man. Exactly. I want to have a good exactly. time. <laughs> exactly. You know what I want to enjoy my day, man. Exactly. 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 At the end of the day, that's what I think. That's what most people want, man. Just to fucking enjoy their day is just sometimes, man, when like you mix the wrong people and then. 
drugs and alcohol and bro that's when shit that's just goes sideways man literally man and fucking and that's just when egos come into play and then that's the type of people that you know they can't you know can't have firearms man you know? no no you can't nah. and you know i have um I have a friend, I'm not going to say his name, of course, which I had to tell him to relax. I'm like, hey, man, relax. He has his open carry in his state. Oh, he's funny. probably going to watch. He's going to know. You know who you are, nigga. I spoke to you. <laughs> um, and shit. And he's talking to me about, about how he's handling the situation, but he's always been the type of nigga that he's down to get out the car. Oh, really? oh, and shit. Oh, and I'm oh, like, brother, you got a strap now. And everybody has a strap over there, oh, bro. Yeah, oh, and yeah. they've been having their strap way longer than you. Guess what? They're going to shoot you faster than you. You, you're not, you're not, you don't have that reach that yeah, they have. Yeah, they've been crazy. having... In, in Southern States, them dudes shoot guns before they start walking. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, when you come from Jersey and you move to a state that's open carry, my nigga, respect, be respectful. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. I feel like that the, the respect goes out the roof because, you know, like you're in a state where everybody potentially has a gun. And I feel like the uh, a firearm is an equalizer. You know what I mean? I, I agree. It's the equalizer. You give a firearm to to somebody who's six feet five, three hundred pounds, and then you give a firearm to somebody who's five foot five, a hundred and ten pounds. And guess what? They it's fair game now. You it's know time to play. Saying? It's fair game. And and if everybody's walking around with an equalizer, and if people really care about their lives. They're really gonna think twice. Like, should I really do something stupid right now? Cause everybody in here is strapped. Exactly. Just like I am. And God forbid I pull this shit out and I let one off and I, I hit somebody, I hit another. You set off some else. shit. Guess what? There's gonna be That's a cataclysmic four, five, event right there. Six, seven, <laughs> I don't wanna be a part maybe, of none of that. Uh, maybe eight um eight, you know, eight fucking firearms are gonna get pointed in my direction and, and you're gonna get the same the same treatment you gave to somebody else, you know. It's, and when you think about things like that, it's like, you know what? Maybe it's not worth it. You know, maybe it's... I maybe should, I should chill. say thank you with a smile. Yeah, maybe I, <laughs> maybe I should just relax, you know what I'm saying? I and, prefer that, man. People, like, right. you know, even even now, like, once I got... Yo, when I was younger, I didn't mind fighting, man. I didn't mind getting it in, you know what I'm saying? I didn't mind having beef and whatever. Like, I didn't want it, but it was like, whatever. Right, right, right. I'm happy to, to, to oblige you if you want to get punched in the face <laughs> and shit. But... Now that I'm older, I got kids and shit, yeah. and 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 I got responsibility. My man, I I cannot do no no prison time. I got kids and a wife to feed. You feel me? So right now I can't do that, and I ain't looking to die neither. Yeah, right now, because exactly. I got shit I gotta handle. My man, I ain't got time for death <laughs> nah, right now. Nah, hell you nah. dig me? So yeah. so that's just the lifestyle I'm living. But you know what, gentlemen, we we did uh, we started off the podcast and we just went uh, off on another tangent. Let's get back to you guys. Right. Um, now. Let's uh, whoever wants to answer first. Who, who like how'd you start with the guns? I know that you were telling me that you were military. Let's let's start with you, I guess, real. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm a veteran. Uh, I served between uh, I was 2010 to 2014 active, and then from 2014 to, to 2000 uh, around 18, 19 inactive. Um, I did one tour of uh, uh, of Iraq. Uh, we went from the most northern part all the way down to the southern part into Kuwait. And we basically shut down all the um, the fobs that were there. Um, my job basically fobs, was... Fobs? What's that, fobs? Uh, sorry. Yeah, let them know. Uh, we're we're civilians. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, uh, so FOB stands for Forward Operating Base. It's basically, uh, all, the, basically all the military camps that you see on, on the news and whatnot. So basically, we shut all those down because uh, at the end of the war, you know, we got to mostly bring our stuff and our people back. So that's what I was doing. But my specific job was... Uh, is 12 Bravo, which is a combat engineer. So if you go online and uh, YouTube and you see all those trucks driving down the road and one of them fucking explodes, that was pretty much my job, fucking digging up uh, roadside bombs and IEDs and stuff like that. IEDs is a... Uh, oh, my God, device. son. Yeah. Yo, I just thought about... That shit was dangerous as fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Been in the shit, bro. My nigga. <laughs> yeah, you said that shit on some cool shit. Like, yo, I was just rollerblade. I did a royale down this rail and it was a kink. It was whatever. Like some real... <laughs> like, some, like it's something regular people could do, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Damn, that's tough, man. Respect yeah, to you, yeah, man. Appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, appreciate man. It. Definitely fuck. an honor. Definitely an honor. Yeah, man. Yeah, so right. uh, basically after um, I got out of the military, uh, you know, uh, I kind of, I was looking for a hobby like mo most veterans are to, to kind of like fill that void of, of uh, you know, what veterans go through trying to transition back into civilian life. And uh, I really got into uh, to firearms, you know, I, I was playing a lot of video games and I was like, you know, what does it take to actually get a firearm in New, New Jersey? Because I was like, I was so about it. And I, you know, I just started looking it up. And then, you know, one thing led to another. And I was like, you know what? Nah, I'm about it. I got a, a couple extra dollars. I'm going to start doing, filling out these forms and, you know, get me squared away. And then um, I did it. I, I, I got my first gun, which was an AR. And I, I loved it ever yeah, since, yeah, man. I, I, I just, I just completely fell in love with it. And then um, 
as soon as I started doing that, I was like, you know, I, I, I wanted you know, to do it with somebody else. So I hit up my lifelong friend right here. He's been my boy since like, Day one, man. Yeah, there you go. Day one. That's what's up. I like that. So I was like, yo, Kev, come through. I'm going to hit the range. I, you know, and then, you know, from there, it was pretty much me and him going to the range. And he's like, he loved it too. He's like, yo, let me get on this. How do I do this? So I gave him the information. And then, bam, it was just like that. It was like an instant click. And we were doing like tactical things. And then we came up with this whole idea, this this movement. You know, we were just so inspired and enthralled with the with the gun community. So we're just like, yo, we we got to give back to the community. We gotta we gotta spread the knowledge. We gotta we you know we gotta help people out. So I was definitely like, yo, let's do this. I'm like, I'm about it. So that's definitely where BTS came into uh, BTS Solutions came into play. So we were like, yo, let's 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 do this, man. I'm 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 gaming, and slowly but surely, you know, we're we're starting to get our thing rolling. Um, so definitely check us on the pipeline. We ha- we got some solid stuff coming through. Now the um. When you started doing uh, a fucking with, with guns and everything, or just shooting, were you in the military? That's when you started, or you already your, your dad probably took you to the range. Like, what, what was going on with you? Uh, so How'd basically, you uh, my, the, actually, the the first gun I ever fired was actually in the military. It was, uh, it right. was the yeah. M4. So I mean, uh, the first time I shot, I was like, no way. It's like this is really happening. And then just, <laughs> just from there, like there was just instant love. The smell of the the, the gunpowder as soon as it went off. <laughs> right. the, the, Hold the, on, the can I tell you what what was my gun first gun that gun, I shot? Uh, I want to hear it. Let's go. My nigga, I it was in the basement of my boy's crib and shit and uh we he had yo my nigga this nigga had one of those old guns you got to put the powder in my nigga, oh, was, <laughs> yo, my nigga, <laughs> snap, snap. It, it was a 40. He, he, was, he was a homemade one too uh, by, by the way and, and shit i'm not gonna put him out there uh, um he's a, he's a good guy whatever Moving <laughs> on from that. Uh, uh but yeah we were kids like it was young like we was high, high school right, days right. and shit we was down there in the yeah. basement shooting shooting uh shotguns oh, and shoot shit. yo in a basement my nigga yeah, i'm scary. now that i'm older i'm like shot- what the wild, fuck my wild nigga wild in my nigga the shotguns with the, i guess the bird pellets <laughs> and just boom. and i so the one one my boy goes and shoots and i'm laughing talking and how a motherfucking pellet hits me right in the tooth no okay. fuck out of here. But soft. It was just like a it was it was literally just a tap, my nigga. Wow. It was almost like a hey man. So it like bounced off the wall. Hey, yeah, hey, my nigga. Hey, like like yo, literally just <laughs> a, a little tap on the tooth. It gave you a little bum bum. bum. Yo, a bum bum. <laughs> <laughs> fuck a bum bum. I don't want those. But yeah, my nigga. Yo, that's what that's wow, literally dude. the first good I shot. Wow. I, I I traveled Holy back to shit. 1864 <laughs> and shot a gun, my nigga. You yeah, but yeah, that's my first thing. Yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did the walk away from each other. We <laughs> <laughs> he said 12 paces, man. <laughs> 12 paces, son. Uh, <laughs> dead, yeah. yeah, so that's my, that's, that's my, uh, my, was my first experience. <laughs> what an experience, bro. Yeah, fuck that. I'm stupid. I, I, but I told that to my son, my son's 16. I'm like, hey, man, don't be around nobody with guns. That's not, you know, me. Fuck that, man. Your friends pull out a gun. Get the fuck out of there. Someone's going to make a mistake. Yeah, yep. facts. Fuck that, facts. man. I'm, I'm, yeah. Facts, and, and all his friends are white boys. So oh, they, no. he lives in the white neighborhood. They'll cover that shit up real fast, the parents. Yeah. Fuck that. Man. <laughs> Yo, oh, yeah, actually, I got a Go question ahead. for you. How, how do you feel about that? Uh, since I'm, I'm also a, a parent, so I feel like, uh, what, is, what is your stance on that about guns and, and children? How do, you, how do you feel about that? Teach your kid as, as early as possible yeah, about it. Your son or daughter, which I'm, you know, I got a three year old and a one year old and a 16 year old son. Um, they, they need to know. They need to be able to uh, uh, know what's going on with the gun so they don't fucking uh, blast their face off. You gotta, they got to know how to take the shit apart. You got to teach them what you know about guns. You teach them as early as possible. For me, personally, that's how I want to do it. So, they, um, you know, so they're safe. Yeah, and exactly. if they're ever in a situation that they have to do something, they know how to shoot that gun already. You never know, bro. They can take it apart, put it back together. Yeah, yeah. Right. They, you never know. You know. Yeah, you know, definitely, you, you definitely. know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But uh, I, so you, you started off in the military shooting guns, and then you, sir, pretty much, he told me that that yeah. after that. So, so before that, you wasn't shooting anything. Nah, um, basically, uh, when uh, I didn't have my firearms license, I, I, I recently just got it. You know, like almost two yeah. years ago. Um, and uh, yeah, like my boy came back from the military, man. He had his, uh, he had his thing going, and he had a. Uh, he had got his first, um, his first pistol and shit. He had got a, a, a Glock 19X and um. We went to the, he would take me to the range and then we would shoot. And then that from there on, like, I fell in love with that shit, man. And it was like, I knew I fell in love with it when, like, I was like 
when when it was time to get my gun permit, like I was on it, on it. You know what I mean? Like excited. I was excited, dude. Like, as, and as soon as I got that call from that the police department to tell me to come pick my shit up, bro, I fucking I was like, oh, he's like, is this blase blah? I'm like, yes, this is. Like, oh, you can come pick it up. I was like, yes, sir. Fucking hung that shit up, dashed out my house, fucking Facetimed him. Like, yo, guess what? And he's like, what? <laughs> Nigga, I'm about to go get my license. Yeah, <laughs> yo, that's so, yo, oh, it's a great wow. moment. It's yeah, a great bro, moment. It's, it's a great moment knowing you can protect yourself. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Facts. you can protect yourself with your hands, but at the end of the but, day, not everybody's comes, coming at you with hands, exactly. sir. Exactly. Not everybody's coming at with you with hands, and when somebody comes at you with lethality, I want to be able to return the same exact lethality. Yeah, I want that energy even right back up, to you. A, exactly, <laughs> even more effective, you know what I mean? Even more even more persistent, even more violent, you know what I mean? In yes. In that case, and... Um, yeah, I was just excited, man. And then uh, I just we I went and got a we we ended up getting the same pistol, you know what I'm saying? Because um, I don't know, man. We just like I guess we're one in the like, you know. We yeah. <laughs> the pistol. And uh, from there, man, it was just like uh, I would go on a, on a, on like Instagram and shit like that, and I would I'd follow a lot of gun people, and um, a lot of these uh, like gun people that are like. Uh, I want to say call they call them gun bunnies like you know just Instagram like Instagram. like the the shorties like the the, the sh- nah it's it, the shorties usually yeah. they call gun bunnies the girls that are yeah, in, that are yeah. like chasing gun yeah dudes. yeah like those like me I just put it in a general category like just people people who are just like not even taking pictures with guns but like are like just um gun porn <laughs> yeah basically basically like I would just see them and then I I would bump into like people doing like draw like a Post, posting videos of like them drawing like drawing their guns and i was just like that looks pretty cool and like i wanted to learn how to do that so i ended up um getting a uh, my first holster which was a cya holster me and him we got it at the same time and um from there man it was just like i felt it like i fell in love with like just practicing to draw you know it was it was like it was just something i was like i would come home i would come home from working like fucking 12 hours bro and just fucking throw my fucking my shit on and put some music on and just start practicing my drawing shit and uh fast and yeah man and i just fell in love with it bro and from there on in it was just every day man every single day like it was like every single day for like the past maybe like six seven months man it was just every single day i was in there just practicing and practicing and practicing and practicing and then i started posting my videos and stuff like that and then surprisingly i was getting a lot of love you know i was like and i didn't even know i was like uh i don't even, even want to say like I sound cocky, but I didn't even know I was like fast. You know what I mean? Like, cause you don't really like, I don't know when I'm fucking, when I'm training, I'm just training, you know? And then I guess I don't really see it till like I put it on video and then I see people reacting to it. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, that, that happened. And then like, you know, I started getting, yeah, I started getting like, 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 you know, love from like, like real, like big people, like competition shooters telling me that I'm faster than them and stuff like that. And, Hearing shit like Bam. that. Damn. Yeah, man. Quick with the draw, boy. Now nah, you fast, man. I'll tell you, that's why I was like, I was like, yo, I was telling my wife, I actually was showing, I was like, look at this motherfucker. This nigga, I don't want to go in a gun battle with this man. <laughs> it's fast, man. But you know what, sir? Now that I've seen your videos, I think I'm going to start practicing. I'm going to get a better holster. I know that this, this holster nah, I got. That it. holster, bro, is actually, that, that's whole, that holster reminds me of the first holster I got. And to be honest with you, like the holster, bro, the holster I run now, it's, it's it's a little it's a little pricey, but my first holster was like forty bucks, bro. And that way, when I have that holster on, I'm the fastest, bro. Like I'm the, I'm like the flash, bro. Like with that, when I have that holster on, bro, That's dope. I, I can fucking draw that gun out in less than a second. You know what I'm saying? And now I run a, a what's it called a tier one concealed holster, tier one concealment. Those holsters are a little more pricey because I pay you pay around one hundred and fifty for those. You know, and you're paying 150 for a holster. You must be really invested. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. That's expensive for a holster, and uh, it because it, it just brings like a, a side pouch where you can uh, ho- uh, house a magazine in it. Oh, that's so, nice. Yeah, you know. So I do that now. I, I run that now, um, cause just so I can get the reload in there. You know, and uh, but if I wanna if I wanna just like test my speed, I, I throw my my CYA holster, my first my first ho- holster I ever got on. Like I throw it on, and pff, I know I can fucking I can do that shit with like my eyes closed, everything. Like you know what I mean? Like. Yeah. It's second nature, man. Like, I, I need to gotta, start learning how to do that for real. I'm gonna, yeah, you know. Yeah. Now we're definitely gonna, we're definitely gonna, you know, give you a, give you some, drop some knowledge, yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know, knowledge that people are gonna have to pay for pretty soon, man. That, yeah, <laughs> as they should, man. You know, we need that, and people, you know, man, it sucks here, man, because you know, South Jersey, not South Jersey, but in the South, they have these great places you can go and shoot. You get in a car, you get, you shoot at the car. You, you know, you can. Put yourself yeah, in yeah. in scenarios. Be like, oh shoot, pop, yeah, yeah. pop, 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 pop. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Crazy we stuff. can't do that shit here. No. Where the fuck in Jersey can we go and learn some tactical shit? I want to be able to get my family out. Yeah. I want to be able to be like, 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like they, yeah. I don't I don't know shit about that. Yeah, you know you, what I'm saying? You gotta learn how to like like extract the VIP. You gotta learn how to you know what I mean? Like uh, you know you can't just like not even you can't, but there's there's certain ways to be effective in defending a certain person. Where do you go? I, I you mean, guys. To, well, we, well, the thing about us is that we, bro, to, the things we do to get tactical, bro. If you only knew, my nigga. <laughs> I'll be honest yeah. with you. I, I see what you do. I was watching the video. Remember, I, I sent you a video like, hey, yeah. where is that? That's in Jersey. They know that's not in Jersey. And, I, I, and it's not, I know it's not in Jersey, but I, yeah. it's in Jersey. You know, not, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh, honest to God, it's not in Jersey. Oh, okay, okay. Not, <laughs> not, not. I wish, oh, man, I wish we had a little location out here that we could, oh, yeah, we could do swear. that stuff, you know? But Shit. unfortunately, Yo, when, uh, whack. to get like, bro, it's just, just like the struggle that, like, if, the, if we would tell you the, the, we can't say it on camera, but don't we, to do that. We oh. we, 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 we would tell you the stories, of the the shit that we had to do to get tactical, bro, just to get there and to get back to bring equipment, bring this, bring yeah, that. fuck. You know, it's 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 fucking tough, but the payoff is amazing because look at the videos that we have and the shit that we made and and like you know what I'm saying and just like uh, but yeah, it's, in order to move and shoot, man, you cannot do that in Jersey, bro. You're gonna have to go to Pennsylvania, find some land, mm -hmm. fucking. Find somebody with land that let, lets you shoot on it, you know. Um, All right, so I got a guy. I'm sorry, let me cut you off real quick. I got a guy. <laughs> I got a guy that, uh, yo, very cool cat. When I first got into the guns, he's, he he actually, and him, him and I at work started talking about guns, and we both kind of bought our guns at the same time. He actually got his first. He got a Smith & Wesson, and then, you know, when I got finally got my license, I got my next. So we kind of been in the same, well, he He's a he's a, a white guy and he went crazy. He has everything now. Right. He has a cowboy <laughs> cowboy fucking gun. Uh, he has lever, everything. Lever like, action. He has a bunch of guns. He's my gun. dude. He's my dude. Right. But sir, he invites. He's like, yo man, let's go to my guys. My guys a uh, uh, place in Pennsylvania. Let's go shoot guns. I'm scared. Let me tell you why. I want to go shoot guns with a bunch of white guys. Let's keep it real. He's my nigga though. I fuck with the keep guy. Real. But I, I I fuck with the guy. But around here in safe places. Now I don't know who his friend is. I know he's not gonna shoot me. Like I know he's not gonna try to do anything to me. Right. But what about his boy? Yeah, in the fuck Pennsylvania? around and get Dick What Cheney? if I go over there and there's Confederate flags everywhere on the low? <laughs> yeah, you feel bro. me? It'd be like, excuse me, sir. Do you know where town is? Back the way you came, what you, boy. Bro, what you <laughs> doing around these parts, boy? Yeah. Huh? Bro, we pulled up. We, we hang them high around the. Right, we, we, we pulled. We <laughs> pulled up to me and him have pulled up to a gun show oh yeah i bro, remember that to gun shows bro in pennsylvania bro and there's nothing but confederate flags flying everywhere bro and there was it's one despicable time, there was one time where, where i had to stop and and think and and, and reassess the situation because like the, i was just like did we just get checked by some like country folks my nigga like yo we pulled up to this gun show right and then like yo mind you we're, it looks like we're the only hispanics in there right it's us and then like a bunch like some asians you know, and then that's about it. You know what I mean? And then, and <laughs> yeah, just white. you guys and some Asians. Yeah, and everybody else is white. So we're in there, right? And then we're paying for admission, right? And we see a bunch of Confederate flags. I'm like, oh, shit. Dude. And mind you, me and him, we we don't, you know, look at how we dress. We got, we, we got Yeezys on. He got yeah, hood niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we're hood niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, look no. how we dress. And then so we go up to the admission board, bro, and this guy pulls up to us. And he's like, we're, we're paying for admission. We get the stamp. And he's got, just like this, bro, he goes, you guys ain't from around here, aren't you? Like, <laughs> oh my god! I was like, "No, nah, we're not." Like, we're I, not I felt threatened. Here. I felt threatened already. Yeah, I was like, "Damn!" No, bro. I not. was like, "I just we just walked away after that." I was like, "Let's just you know, let's just enjoy the gun show, bro." Then, I, then I, I'm, I'm walking. I'm thinking, "You guys like, ain't from these parts, are you?" Basically, bro. I was like, "Did we just get checked by some country folks?" He really <laughs> just said, "We we watch it." He literally just yeah. said, "We see you guys, it's and we're crazy. watching." But surprisingly, like the gun community is pretty friendly, man. You just got those like this. I I, I feel like it's everywhere. You got oh the like, KKK those, guys. Yeah, you yeah, got they those like people, guns. Like you know what I mean. You like yeah, especially if you know them. They, they're like hidden in there, but and know. that's the problem with um being growing up in the hood or in our communities. These fucking uh KKK white motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I I'm not racist at all. I have nothing no issues against uh white people that are not racist. I'm talking about them. Them motherfuckers, fuck them. I'm not yeah. talking about no Thanks. other white person. White people are cool with me, man. Yeah, I fuck right. with every color. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Who you are is who I fuck with. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, these fucking piece of shits, um, they actually raise their children, training them how to do all this shit. And we in the hood, now, naturally, in the hood, you kind of get hands because you're just fighting all the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's certain places that you have to have hands. From the nerdiest to the toughest, and everybody the bangs. Yeah. yeah, and even the nerdiest, you know. Got hands. <laughs> they, 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 if you go, like, to Louisville, if you go, like, to Louisville or, or something, like, you know, so one of those, like, hood, hood, where, ha, shit, like, wherever fucking Nelly's from, <laughs> you know that? My nigga, those kids got hands at nine years old because they, they, they're in the hood, hood, man. Yeah, everybody. 
don't got to bend it out for nothing. They do, you that feel me? <laughs> they do that type of shit for fun, man. Exactly. So yeah. they got hands, but imagine if they were taught to, 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 to be able to, you know, use a gun properly. Move uh, tactically. Talk, talk, yeah, move tactically. They need nice. to, these little white boys nice. that are racist, they're training them. Yep. They're training yep. them very well, and they will fuck somebody up. Probably so crazy. why not, you know, and I hope BTS also adds something like that maybe maybe you know i'm gonna give you guys an idea i you okay. know i'll just come in five percent no problem <laughs> um, you guys can <laughs> can set up set up you know a bus and be like yo we're gonna go down to the tactical place that you find and maybe you guys get a discount because you're bringing so many people down and it'll be like something that bts gets paid off of you guys getting paid they're paying you guys but you're paying the place. You right, feel me? Right, so therefore, right, right. you have your price, but you're over here it's teaching like a sis- them. Sister partnerships, and yeah, with type the, thing yeah, going on. Everybody, yeah, er- everybody eats. Just uh, make your checks out to Hector. You <laughs> <is my brother>. <laughs> <laughs> Got me. Nah. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's, that, you know, I mean, you know, that's all, all jokes aside, man. I really think that's, that that's us as a community, a we need, idea, yeah, man, we need that. We need, we need to be proactive when it comes to self-defense and, 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 you know, all that stuff and respect because when you're, once you, once you're a person that's down to be, you know, you know, can, that, that learns how to uh, self-defend, you're not gonna look for problems. You're gonna be chill because you know. First off, you're letting out all your your energy, you know, in the, in your jujitsu your class your or whatever. You're training, so you're not gonna come out at that out of that training session super aggressive unless you're some sort of asshole. Right. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time, most fighters that yo, I had a fighter here a couple of weeks ago, man. Yeah, fucking the nice podcast, guy, yeah, man. The podcast, yeah. very nice guy. He's a, and he's huge. I didn't, you know, in person, he's a huge monster. Like right, I didn't right. know that he was that big. And then he's walking down the block, and he just got bigger as he was coming. I was like, this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's a big guy. I was like, <laughs> yeah, nah, cool cat, man. But yeah, you know, very nice people, man. You, you if you let out your aggression. In, in, in some type of sport or thing in like that. In a responsible way. Yes, yes. Where you're not, like, inflicting harm on anyone else, you know what I mean? Unless you have to. Unless you have to. Unless it's it's you Taekwondo, to. man. You got to kick someone yeah, in the head exactly. sometimes. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and that's the thing. A lot of people who do, stuff, like, martial arts, and a lot of people do martial arts, they don't, they're not as violent, man, because they know what they can, they know what they can do. They know if somebody comes at them sideways or somebody just tries to hurt them, one side kick to the head will fucking lay somebody that, out. You know what I'm saying? See, like, and that, that's something to jump into. If if people demonize martial arts like they did the the Second Amendment, the you know the world would be a, a, a whole different place. But yet you can go out there and 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 you know and find out martial arts. You can learn how to uh, give somebody a karate choke and, and you know kill them less than like less than thirty seconds. But they don't want you to learn how to shoot somebody and kill them two seconds, which is almost the basically the exact same. Thing. <laughs> it's the so, truth. Though. I don't see this. This the things that I understand. But it's more for yeah. self defense. If you're a person that's with, that's a good person. And all you want to do is defend, defend your family, exactly. defend yourself. I don't see why not learning how to yeah. be able to take someone out. I don't want to fight you for 15 minutes. I have a friend that had a fight for 15 minutes oh, a, a couple months ago. Literally. I, you know, it was, I'm like, yo. That's Nick, a UFC bout. Bro. Nigga, that, yeah. <laughs> them niggas were banging out by themselves in the parking lot. He said, yo, I just didn't want to die. I was fighting for my life. He was like, yo, I, I didn't know if he, was, if he knocked me out. I thought I, he would have killed me. And I knew if I knocked him out, I wasn't going to kill him. Crazy. So I was trying to that knock him so out. Crazy. They were haymaking each other for fucking oh, minutes. Oh, my God. Oh my God, cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> oh I don't do cocaine, but man, I know niggas that do, man. That's just aggressive. <laughs> they be they be bugging. And that's the honest hard truth. You don't you never know when somebody's gonna stop. Yeah, okay? You don't know what So you gotta be able to fucking take somebody out. I prefer because I know that in all honesty, I've knocked people down. Gotten on top of them and stopped them and be like, yo, chill. You know what I'm saying? You want to keep going? Cause I can hurt you right now. I'm a, like, this is literally, yeah, right. I don't want to fucking ground and pound the person. Right, I really right. do. I'm not that type of person. I just want you to stop attacking exactly. me. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it should, I did hit him one more time, but he needed that to understand so what to business was. <laughs> to hit it, calm down. Yeah, <laughs> calm down, bro. Like the, like, as this soon could as get you, worse. Like, yeah, as soon as you like, like feel that release of force, then you're like, all right, like, chill out. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to be yeah. able to disable somebody that comes at me. Of course. I want to disable you right away, as soon as possible. And I want to get the fuck out of fuck there. Fuck out of there, right? Exactly. You know, and that's that's pretty much what uh everybody should do in, 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 in those things. But yo, you see videos, man, of dudes just fucking going in. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I, I mean the first sometimes the videos you'll see a dude and I'm like, all right, they banged out. Okay, he's punched him three times. He's like, oh, punch him five times, six, eight. I'm like, oh shit, this thing is gonna cut him. <laughs> yeah. yo, I got to, yo, I saw one officer, an off-duty officer. I think this must have been the Bronx, because everything crazy happens in the Bronx or Florida. <laughs> or Florida. <laughs> so um, yeah, yeah, yo, this nah. dude, um, there were two big dudes. Right. 
but the one dude caught caught the upper hand, pop, pop, dropped him. Slugger. And, slugger. And yo, my nigga, he just didn't stop punching. He was doing this. No. Uh, he starts uh, making those no. ugly ass sounds. <laughs> Yo, my nigga, oh. I, I was, and then and then the dude just filming. He's like, "Oh my god!" And then he just, yo, the guy was being punched for a good two minutes. God damn. <laughs> yo, yo, instead of sounding, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I went to, I went to the walking the macaroni. Over yeah. there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, oh my god! Nah, but yeah, fucking, nah, my nigga, that video really bothered me though. Yeah, it bro. bothered me and it scared me because I don't ever want that to happen. That, yo, videos like that actually make me want to de-escalate. Well, I'm the de- I'm the type of person that would try to de-escalate. Before I escalate now, you get close, I'm attacking you right away. Right, right. I'm attacking you. Yeah. If we're in a fucking hostile Not situation, yet, yeah. yeah, you get where I can grab you, I'm grabbing you and I'm trying to I'm trying to disable you. Yeah, because I don't know what you're doing now. And I taught yeah. that to my son. I'm teaching that to everybody that I know. Yeah, you keep an arm's distance or you yeah. stay right over there, bro. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. This it, this ain't that serious, man. Keep give me some space. Yeah. You don't give me some space, I'm a, I'm a jujitsu you, bro. <laughs> Put you in a right. fucking pretzel. I don't even know jujitsu, <laughs> and I watch a lot of UFC. <laughs> Yo, be surprised. Surprisingly, Yo, it's man. what you can learn off of videos, man. It's crazy. Like you, you, if you study the human, like the human mind, bro, a lot of things, a lot of things, uh, people pick up is through visual, man. Visually. Yeah. Yes. 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 Watching, <clears throat> watching it and being so interested in it that you get like a liking to it, and then implementing it into your own life and you're learning the technique yeah, exactly. while just watching people do it just watching people be like oh you just watching watching is learning too man because a lot a lot of people uh, people learn differently you know that's why bro i was in remedial classes in middle school you know what i'm saying like and uh, i mean i'm not fucking retarded i know it's two plus two i know how to count you know what i mean like <laughs> but i just i was more of a visual learner you know i like to like look at like you know just look at it and then yep. i can either not imitate it but just find a way to integrate it in my day-to-day like life or training or whatever it is i'm trying to do you know yo let's talk about the straps man Word. let's talk about what you got there man i see that uh, yeah, i see that glock 19x okay. that shit is fucking uh, tough this, this right here boy is uh it's a glock 19x man this is my very very first uh firearm and my very favorite firearm out of all the firearms i've had and all the firearms i have owned it is go ahead go ahead and clear that bad boy for the camera clear for tony yeah there you go it's in the mag don't worry guys you don't bring we that we're professional gun handlers so ain't nothing in here all right guys but yeah um this is the glock 19 x man and uh this is this is a fucking workhorse bro this is definitely my fucking favorite glock um just because i mean it just fits my hand remember we were talking yeah. about um the 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 like a few a uh, few uh, minutes ago that just the 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 handle is just i have big hands so i like my handle with space you know and with this look uh, i have yeah. a lot of space you know what i mean like, literally the only thing that bothers me about this gun is, is that is that part? Honestly, that's probably gonna feel a lot better in your hands. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nah. Would you see? This this does feel a lot better. A lot better. Just that part, because after a while of shooting, that little fucking thing hits that yeah, pinky, yeah, gets annoying. But yeah, I am going to uh, switch that up. Uh, what'd you say to, to get the extension? Uh, yeah, you can get a mag extension, or you can just get a a mag well that it'll probably uh, like uh, compensate for your pinky, like yeah. touching your 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 magazine. All right, for y'all that didn't catch that out there, you see, you see how he cleared the gun before he gave it to him. He didn't know, he, even though he cleared it on camera, he still cleared it. That's that's a good gun, gun responsibility, right? Oh yeah, there. we gotta look. Yeah, yeah, you know, and it's true. I mean, you know, it's just a habit right away. You hand me a gun, I'm gonna clear it right away, there just in go. case. That's, but that's, you know, it, I saw him do it. I didn't have to. It's just whatever. It's habit, man. No, and it should. That, it's a great perfect. habit that's, to have. That should be it, like how it goes each and every time. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't even like touching other people's guns to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I prefer not to. Yeah. Right. You know, I just <laughs> I, I have mine. Like when I go to the range, you know what I'm saying? Like people will rent the AR. I'll be like, I'm just gonna shoot mine, bro. Like you know, I want I want to be as good as I can with mine. Right. Yeah. Proficient. Because I'm not really yours. good. I'm not as good as I'd like to be. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. Oh, you're gonna get hit. I just want to be able to hit you in the eyeball, not not <laughs> in the nose. When I'm <laughs> aiming at your eye, I want to hit the eye, not the nose. You feel me? Yeah, very accurate. Like, that's yeah. That's kind of where I'm at, at at with it right now. You're gonna get hit. It's a headshot, but <laughs> it's just gonna be the nose, not the eye. When I'm trying to hit the eye, it's yeah. okay. I'll get I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> I get that motherfucker in a minute. But, shit, but than, go ahead. I mean, I'm sorry. Other than that, I mean, like, um, I mean, you want to talk about this? The you you got one too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, what's your, so what, hold on. What'd you bring? Well, he's got the same one as I do. So he's got a Glock 19X. Just yeah. Like, so let me let me go ahead. Exactly let me, like let this, me take this guy out. Uh, I don't so, know if you um, my fault. I don't know if you noticed, but um, just my I, I just I like that. The, the grips, the sticker grips. You yeah. Know what I'm saying I'm gonna get it like a stippled eventually and customized and just Gucci this whole thing out. But for why now, not? It's gonna look nice, man. Yeah. But, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, so uh, what I got here, hold on. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, so let's clear this for the camera. Nothing in there. No, nothing in the magazine. 
All right, so we got our uh, our Glock 19X here. Um, basically, what we, uh, we got the same pistol at the same time, and the only reason why I kind of I, I went into it and I delved into it, and I was like, um, I'm gonna Love get that. it. That's nice. Uh, get it with him, and it's uh, it's because it honestly it was uh originally uh made for the military. Um, the reason why it has the the nomenclature X is because that's the nomenclature they give to uh weapons that they're in the experimental phase that they're about to go into the military. But obviously, uh, big gun owners know or the people in the gun community. Uh, Sig won that that contract, so um, Glock just released them to the to the civilian community and. This is definitely something I like. It's got a bigger, um, the frame. The frame's a lot bigger, so that something for for something like my my hands, um, you know, it's not really made for that. But I do like that I have a lot more uh, to purchase on the pistol, so that's definitely something that I loved. It also has a uh, night sights, so if you guys can't see now, but um, in, the dark, in the dark they glow in the dark. You can that's definitely tough. fucking see them. That's tough. <laughs> yeah. And then I also got the uh, the Balder uh, Balder Pro on here. It's uh, basically a flash. I think it's thirty five hundred lumens. It's also got a strobe effect. Uh, you don't really use it, but I mean, if you definitely want to fuck with somebody or, or you know, try to intimidate them without fucking trying to shoot them, you, you can definitely go ahead and use that. Right so. in their eyes. Just be like, hey, man, <laughs> not just a flashlight, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that that's definitely awesome. Also, there's also uh, definitely a green that's laser on nice, here. Man. I don't know if Ooh. you guys can see it. Yeah, right right there. There. That is fucking nice. Definitely don't ever point it at your fucking hand, but uh, it's you can obviously see that I'm not pointing it at my hand. It's just a laser. Yeah. But yeah, that's also something that, uh, that fucking uh, I loved about the gun is uh, it's very modular. You can almost change anything on this. Yes. Uh, it's like a, a, a basically, a, yeah, pretty much. Exactly. A, a that's Lego. why I did. I did my research on Glock, and that's why I went Glock, because I was like, and then I saw uh, this particular gun, too. And I was like, oh, shit. So the military almost took it, and the military was using it already. Yeah. And I, that's what I looked up. I was like, what are the most reliable? What are the ones that the fucking cops are using a lot? Yeah. And I and I found Glock. So Glock. I, I went Glock. I went Glock. Just on the strength of that. And it's, it's crazy because it's, it's almost like a- fucking nice. Yeah, it's, like a, it's like a, almost like a cliche because a lot of rappers, they, oh, Glock this, Glock, Glock yeah. that. You know but I mean? they also say Smith & Wesson. Yeah, they do. A lot. They do. They do. They do. Glock Heckling is- Koch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the FN. The F- they oh, yeah, the, the FN. FN. They say FN. Oh, yeah, yeah. The mm. FN is such a fucking uh, pinnacle of the uh, the rap game right now. Yeah, but it, they, I mean, it, it is a cliche, but man, like I said, this thing is one of the most reliable guns. And even though Sig won that, that army contract for the pistol for the army, this thing is, in my opinion, better than a Sig, better than the Sig P3, was P325 or P335? I'm not exactly sure on the, the, the model number, but it's I think I was re- I was reading that somewhere. I think, yeah, the P3 I can't tell you the number, though, yeah. But um, I forgot I can't even remember that. But it basically um won over this, and this is a lot more reliable. You know, it's got put into torture tests and all that other stuff, and just I don't understand why the army went with the Sig, but I guess I don't know. Price, yeah. The, you know, it's politics, bro. Like, yeah. um, it's not. Sometimes it's not what's better. You know, sometimes these motherfuckers get just to it's, save it's money. The, they're the giving, lowest bidder. That's yeah, exactly they're giving giving military guys. You know, our guys out there, uh, faulty fucking uh, uh, you know, equipment. You know what I'm saying? Just to save some bucks. Or not 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 faulty. I'm pretty sure it's not faulty, but it's just they could have gotten better. Exactly. Instead, you know what I'm saying? But just, whatever. Just because it's mil spec doesn't mean it's good. This Remember is that. true. That, that that makes sense. That makes one hundred percent sense. Now, um, let me ask you too, man, because also I be looking and they be tempting it's tempting sometimes. You'll find a, a, a forty or a forty five for like two fifty. You know what I'm saying? Those cheaper guns and yeah, shit. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure every gun works. You can make every gun do do what it do. Oh, you for know sure. What I'm saying right. guaranteed. Sure. Of but you know, when I first started, I was trying to buy an affordable gun because I couldn't. Right. I really couldn't afford this, but I did it. Right. You know, I wilded out. You know what I'm saying? At the <laughs> it was time, good though. It was good. You wilded out. Yeah, yeah exactly. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get something good. My boy actually, exactly. the 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 uh, my boy Bob, he was the one. That he was like, yo, sway your decision. Yeah, he was like, yo, man. Don't buy something cheap, man. Save a little longer and get yourself a good gun and mm-hmm. shit. And he, uh, you know, and he said, which means Smith and Wesson. He's a Smith and Wesson head. Oh, yeah. And I was like, as soon as I came back with the Glock, he's like, I think, he, I think, the ra- I think the racist came out and he was like, oh, you one of them boys, aren't you? <laughs> the Glock, Glock boys. <laughs> You're a Glock boy, aren't you? you Honestly, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna gonna lie. Most of the times, I would probably cheap out, but uh, I looked at it at the end of the day. You know, this is your life. So I, I would spend the you know the, a little bit more extra cash. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense. Have you shot any uh, of those cheaper guns though? Because we have. Yeah, because that's the thing is that if you haven't shot it, like I haven't shot a cheaper gun yet. Right. You know what I'm saying? I've only shot Smith and Wessons in this. Right. What what, what we should we've shot in like cheaper guns. We've shot in different caliber guns. You know, mm-hmm. uh, a lot of people um, 
Well, we shot a 40 before. We shot 40s. Um, we shot a, a 5.7, which is basically like a like a, a, a rifle round in a pistol. It's fucking insane. Jesus, man. <laughs> yeah, man. That thing flies, bro. My God. Yeah. Um, his uh, his brother's got a, a real nice... Hold on. Like, what is it? Is that the one that shoots the... Um, Oh no no that's a, yeah, that's it, bigger. It, it, There's it, a fifty one that it's it, it's it sh- broken it shoots wrists. the P ninety round. It's broken dude's wrist. Oh, like, you're, you're probably talking about like I forgot a, like the name of it. Express. Yeah. Another dude, white, white dude that I work with, Bob. He he has it. There's a bunch of Bobs, I guess, in my job. <laughs> but he has that. So he's like, yo, I can't shoot that more than two times. I shoot. He goes to the range. He shoots it, and he's like, I gotta put it away, man. My my old wrist and shit. Damn. Yeah, yeah it's strong. Like 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 definitely magnet. probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's that. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing is like. Yeah, he's like. <laughs> yeah. Trying to I kill the, the T-Rex trail. behind your neighbor's fucking <laughs> refrigerator and shit. Yeah, oh, my like, God. Like, what are you trying to fucking kill? Bro? Yeah, <laughs> geez, a deer, yo, I heard that, that, that uh, around passed a deer once. Just passed it and murdered it. And murdered it. Right? Just, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah there's, there's a video. If you look it up on YouTube, it's uh, uh, BM, uh, 50 BMG kills a uh, deer. But it doesn't. Uh, when they actually look at the footage, it doesn't hit the deer in the head. And you just fucking just see the, like the fucking deer drop. And I'm like, damn. I guess it's the speed of sound because yeah, remember, of course, gun, even when you have a silencer on the gun, you know what's what they can't silence the the the, the exactly. speed of sound. Oh, the, the being concussive broken. force of actually yeah, passing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, it's only gonna be like I don't know. It's still loud, man. Yeah, I, from what I've seen, it's gonna, it's gonna muffle. It's just the the the, the explosion of the cartridge. You know, yeah, that's when the it. Bullet flies. You're gonna hear it. You know, it's what I mean? always gonna break the the sound. It breaks the sound barrier. That's yeah, what it yeah. is. And shit. That's but crazy. but yeah, man. I like I said, I was trying to get. I was like, ah, I'm gonna get me some cheap shit, and you know, and it doesn't mean I'm not one day. Maybe I, I will just for fun, you know, buy myself a 45 or some fun shit yeah, for yeah. cheap and just something that you know, just to fucking play with. Uh, um, now let me ask you guys because you guys fuck with the guns and shit. What um, I know that there's five guns that everybody, every man supposedly should own, right. you know, which is the hunting rifle, the you know, the AR, something like that. Right, right. Do, do you have a, a top five of what you want or you have or what? what I mean, you know uh, what I mean? top five, I mean, when it, maybe... I, I when mean, it comes to, I'm talking about different guns. I'm not talking about right. four nines and, you know, I'm talking right. about a nine, an AR, a I fucking like Draco, a, whatever. I got like a, I got a top three. Like okay. I got a top three. I got a, but in my opinion, like this is my, uh, I, I don't want to say specific guns, but maybe just calibers oh, that's like cool. in general you know like uh my top three would be like something chambered in 308 which is a sniper rifle round not technically a sniper rifle but something in that shoots sniper rifle rounds that's more of a semi-auto like battle rifle more of like a i don't know if you ever heard of a fal you ever like call of duty um they got the fal it. they got the fal and that's a battle rifle like um the galil that's another battle rifle that's a what, else? what do you think of the Glock? I mean, I mean the uh, of, of the Draco real quick. The Draco, um, Draco. I'm, a, I'm. I don't. I personally don't like it. But my first rifle was an yeah. AK, so I'm a big fan of fucking like the AK platform, the Dracos. Personally, me, I don't like the dra- like the the Draco, like just the the the. It's I like it. It's nice. You know, it looks cool. It's it looks cool, and it's got a, it's a small package that shoots a, a seven six two. And I don't know if you ever guys seen a seven six two, but that thing is like maybe the size of my thumb, and like uh, you know, it's a big round and. It's a small package. You could put that thing in your backpack. You know, pull that shit out. Yeah. I preferably like preferably like the the sub not the the compact more of like the like the AKU with like the basically the Draco with a stock on it. You know what I mean? Something. Yeah, like I was thinking shoulder. that. Yeah, I've you seen that. Yeah. Saying? Like I would do something like that. You know, in that realm. Um, yeah, but, God, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry to cut nah, you off. Nah, like, you go, go ahead. Go ahead. Bro. Um, but something just something chambered in 308, like a scout rifle or like a, a M1 a M1 Grand. Um, the the rifle that they went to World War Two with. Or, and then uh, the second be a second would be a shotgun, some type of shotgun for home defense. Uh, the 308 would be for hunting, you know, for hunting purposes, because a lot of you, um, you know, you need a big round to take down a fucking moose and deer, and you know, it's big fucking big animals that weigh fucking 300, 400 pounds. So something in 308 to take down animals, and then a shotgun to uh to uh for for you know uh, CQB for close quarters combat, you know, something preferably with a with a small stock. Uh, uh, semi-auto, uh, maybe a Benelli, if I could, you know, that, that would be nice. And uh, and then, all right, so Benelli, uh, get, let people know how, how uh, the Benelli looks. Uh, I, I don't know it. Benelli's uh, Benelli's uh, one of the. I, I know everybody's seen the movie John Wick and uh, the most recent one where he's uh, running and gunning through the uh, through the tunnel and he's got a, he's holding a shotgun and it's a. Uh, 
you can tell that he's shooting and he's not pumping it. That's a that's a Benelli for you. That's Ooh, a, a that's semi auto. That's all you gotta do is pull that trigger. And that's boom, tough. Boom, boom, boom. Glock yeah. style. Yeah, basically, you know. I need that. I semi, need that. What, what's the what's the price of Ranger that? You know, <laughs> it's pricey, man. Yeah. yeah. Tell me, yeah. give me give me give me numbers. All right, so like the the basic starting numbers would anywhere from like uh, thirteen and upwards to like twenty five. Oh. Oh, that's expensive, yeah, man. It's but it's worth it, bro. Yeah, you know, it's worth it because when somebody comes in, they're not wait. They're not, they're not, you're not even gonna hear that. Oh, you're yeah, gonna hear yeah, the bah. Yeah, it's consistent, yeah. you know. And and then I would obviously go with my Glock, man, because I know this thing like the back of my hand and it's reliable. So yeah, I'm staying with Glock, with definitely. Rifle, you know what I mean? And that'd be my that'd be my three right there. My three two must have rifles. And why why did you stay rifle. with nine? Did you did, did, do you I, like nine over forty? Like what what's I your thing? Like I've actually shot a forty. Um, we've had we've we've had a forty before. He shot he shot a forty as well. Um, for me, preferably, I just uh, I feel like I can manage the recoil on a nine mil better than I can on a forty. You know what I'm saying? More accuracy. Not even more accuracy because yeah. there's people who shoot forty who are pretty accurate. You know. Um, but it's just for me personally. What I like and how it, how it, how it feels, you know, and like when I rapid fire a forty, it kind of dances in my hand. I really have to like grip it tight for it to like. Oh, you know I get that. Like, yes, yes. I don't really want to have to do that too much. You know what I'm saying? But with the nine, it's got kick, but it's I can it's kick that I can control a lot better than a forty. You know what I'm saying? Not that I can control a forty or a forty five because I can, and you know it's easy. All right, man, yo, man, just, don't, don't relax, man. You gotta, it's not, don't it's touch not, my game. It's not an ego <laughs> thing, bro. <laughs> don't touch, you, know, hey, you gotta but, relax, man. It's okay. But, uh, now, but, you're yeah. a man. You got a full beard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? That's full of testosterone, man. <laughs> That's all man right there next to me, bro. But, um, yeah, you know, I, I like the nine mil better because it's just a lot more controllable with the recoil, and I feel like I just can be a lot more accurate. And uh, the nine mil, it just uh, nine mil flies. You know, it flies fucking. It flies one of the fastest flying rounds. Am I am I wrong? Or am I right? Uh, depe the, the the depending pistol, on the, the in the in, pistol world, in yeah, the pistol world, you oh, yeah, know? pistol world. One yeah. of the you know the one of the flies fasting like the fly the. Fastest flying rounds is a nine mil. Yeah, say that and, five times fast. <laughs> 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 Yo, win a prize if I do. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Damn. that's why I go with the nine mil, man, because it's just like, and it's universal, man. Everybody rocks nine mil now. Slowly but surely, man, the 40 and the 45 is going to dissipate. But I feel like it's still going to be around because, you know, you got those old heads and oh, yeah, yeah. weapons. Bob, my, my friend Bob, I'm going back to Bob. <laughs> I'm going to tell that nigga about this this episode. He's going to bug out. He's going oh, to no. be like, I'm not inviting you out there to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, motherfucker, so I'm not going. <laughs> but, and that's my boy. I like him a lot. but And I know he has homies out there with the good, like, spots and mm -hmm. dope-ass guns and all that shit. But if I, if I could put white face on for the day, maybe a little blonde hair, <laughs> and be like this all day. I'll go, but no, I'm not. I'm not going. But yeah, moving on from from that. But yeah, he's the same. He's like 40. He's like, and especially when I bought, the, he said, you bought a Glock and then you bought a nine millimeter. What kind of man are you? Like I was like, <laughs> I was like, you know, yeah, disgust. But you know what? I don't use my gun to measure my cock. I'm exactly. pretty good in that big, department. Yeah, big so at the end of the day, I'm not worried about how I'll big my speed. gun round is. It's shit, I'm good. And at the end of the day, if you're accurate with your gun, you're going to hit some shit. Hit you can hit him with a deuce deuce and have that shit bouncing all in his body. Yeah, you, go. you feel me? That Like deuce deuces, people don't respect it as much. That little motherfucker, you get up close, you hit somebody. That shit's bouncing. It's fucking up some organs. So this is basically a fact. If you don't know much about 22, 22 is the same exact size as a 223 or 556. Yeah. And what is a 556? Five, five, and that's an AR round. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it's it's the same exact yeah. thing, just <laughs> a lot less powder. So if you hit someone with a deuce deuce in the eye, they're gonna go down. Hey, yeah. And I don't, I don't, I've never met anybody who was like, yo, shoot me with the deuce deuce. I wanna see how it feels. Nah. No, yo, have you, you seen those two? I don't wanna get shot at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't wanna get shot. I don't wanna get stabbed. Not I don't, I don't wanna get not pinched. Not by any gun do yeah, I wanna get shot. Get the fuck out of here, man. It was like, yo, the deuce deuce is not gonna do anything. Yeah, it's like, yo, I been shot by the deuce deuce. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I've heard stories of people getting killed by fucking deuce. Of oh course. yeah, my nigga, oh, it yeah. bounces inside time. your body. Oh, it's, yeah. It doesn't go. It's it, it doesn't go through. It doesn't have the power to go out. Right. So it what just, happens? Do, do, do. It just ricochets inside your oh, body like and hurts. Machine. Yeah, literally. <laughs> it literally. I'm, as I, that was a great a great uh, analogy. analogy yeah. yeah, because that's how I, I was picturing it. I was picturing it. A pinball machine just bouncing in your body. I don't want to get hit by yeah, none man. of that shit. And everything inside you is soft, bro. Ain't nothing hard in there. Bro. Fuck it. That's it, man. It's done so, man. Yeah, you, you're, us in our soft bodies, we get hit by anything. It's done. Yeah, right. I don't give a fuck how much weight you lift, my G. Right. You get shot. It's going through. You, you, yeah, exactly. With anything. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, 
What was that rifle you were um looking at? Like you um uh that uh, the three oh eight you were talking about? It's oh, like, tell oh me your, okay. Tell me, your, to tell me your three. Oh, so well, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I definitely that, got yeah. a top five, but um, I'll my number it. one is fucking bread and butter is the AR platform. I mean, oh, I fucking that, yeah. I was introduced to that. That's my my first gun I ever shot. So I mean, that's the that's I know at, like the ins and outs. Like, oh, you could probably take fucking, that shit apart and oh, say yeah. you're military. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean <laughs> to be to be modest, yeah, I can. But I, I was it. like, yeah, on some bumper shit, yeah. Full metal jacket. I see him do it sometimes, bro, and I'm just there like. It's dope, bro. yo. He takes apart an AR from like the the barrel, the stock, everything, and I'm just like, all right, now help me put it back together, bro. And I and I just watched him do it. You know what I mean? Like it's fucking crazy. I still to clean my gun. I watch I I watch the videos. <laughs> I'm, I I have a, uh, this guy Bob. I'm, and I'm just kidding, not Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I, on YouTube, he's a white guy though. Right. Uh, he's an older white guy, and I sit there. I take my Glock thing out. I put it on the table. I mean, you know, whatever. I, whatever I do, I put the towel down and shit, and and I fucking watch the video and I pause it. I mean, I do my thing, man. <laughs> you gotta imitate. Yeah, it. I, I you know, and you know, most of the time, actually, I kind of do it. But I st- it's my security blanket. I kind of I need to do it with the video. Exactly. Yeah, like right yeah, now, yeah, I, I can't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna embarrass myself and try to take it apart. I I probably <laughs> most likely can. I just, you know, this is private I, but, time. But see, you already you already you already set yourself up for failure. So so now you, now you gotta do it. I, I gotta see this go to his head. No, imagine this. <laughs> <laughs> well, what well, we'll say you, Tony? Again. Should, should, we, should, should we see? Uh, should we? Sh- no, no, we'll I'm not doing that. Nah, nah, okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna embarrass myself. I'm not gonna embarrass myself. Don't put me on the spot. But you could do it though, because I know. I, and, and you know, I believe you can in two seconds. Go oh, in two can. seconds. I don't no, not I two seconds, but definitely. Right, I know you can take that motherfucker. Right, the magazine's out. All right, so we let me show the camera again. All right, so we definitely good. Clear. Yeah, we're good. All right, so basically, all right, so all right, we have a timer or are we timing me? No, no, I got it. All right, man, all right, all right, all right, I'm gonna try to do it safely and on, as fast as possible. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. All right, strip. All right, strip. Yo, so, that was fucking like four, four, four seconds, seconds yeah, dog. Four seconds, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was literally four seconds, yo. You killed that. Yeah, I definitely can't do none of that right there. They see, easy. that's why you don't do shit in front of professional motherfucker. <laughs> you look like an asshole. Sometimes it takes me like five minutes to do that shit. This nigga then, then fucking went... <laughs> In four seconds. <laughs> no, yo, have you ever seen that though? Like on, on, on movies and shit, like a dude will take apart someone's gun and then that is, like, I want that's that. Crazy. I that's crazy. Like that that's like some kind of, that's like tactical dis- disarming shit. You know my nigga. I mean? And then, <laughs> if somebody does that to me, my nigga, I'm just going like, to beg him. It. Hey, man. You got fucking it. Fucking sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, man. Because <laughs> I know what's coming after that. It ain't going to be good, man. <laughs> totally. Think I just wait. <laughs> <laughs> Some fucking Stevens to go shit. Totally miscalculated the situation. Yeah, I, I really let me really back. Come on, on top here. <laughs> yo, I saw a video of uh, yo. Some dudes are good with it, man. I right, so mm-hmm. I saw a video. This must have been this. This must have been a bar in either South America. It goes from South America to Dominican Republic. I don't know, but this dude is at a bar. There's a bunch of people. This one dude comes up to him, pulls his strap out. Uh, he was talking some shit. To him. He pulls his strap out. Yo, the dude reacted. Instinct, calf, 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 took his gun, pop, 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 shot him, and no, walked no. out the fucking bar, my nigga. The the G, they, that was some Jack Reacher shit, my nigga. <laughs> and this dude, yo, I, I wish I could find the video, man. I watched that video over and over again. I, I was like, is this real? And my nigga, it was real. That's crazy. This dude hit him. He just hit him three times and open hand, just ah, 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 took his gun from him, shot him with his own gun, bounced with it, looked through, and and everybody that was there was just like this. Just looking like that just really happened. Yeah, like and yo, like I want to be that. That's tactical. That hey BTS, that's tactical. Oh yeah. Let's if you want to fucking train like that, BTS got you guys. Yeah, come and get tactical with us, man. (laughs) Only place in Jersey you can get tactical with us, man. Now with us about tactical, how you're gonna work that out? Because it's true, like you know, you're not gonna be able to do anything tactical here, really. There's unless you're giving them wood guns to. to, Yeah, exactly. There's ways, you know, and there's loopholes, and there's different things that we do and different methods and training, tra- different training methods that we do at BTS that we've created that people can adapt to and we teach them how to train in their home environment, train yeah. at the range, where to train, where you can inner waistband draw, where you can do all these type of stuff. You know, it's the type of information that we have, at, you know, at BTS and just like basically 
just anywhere that you can get tactical, any place or any time or any how, just staying tactical 24-7. Yes, just because you're not at the range does not mean that you cannot uh, dry fire, practice, or do anything like that. Um, you know, firing the gun is, is only a, a certain amount of percentage of, of actually shooting. It's the mindset. You know, it's it's basically the, the, the fundamentals. All of the fundamentals you got to run no. through. I mean, shooting shooting is actually... So one part of of many many parts of a, of, a, of a process of shooting, so they're definitely um, just to circle back to uh, I remember your question. Um, you're like, uh, where can we get tactical at, or you know, where can we learn to get tactical? Um, honestly, we uh, we were both uh, blessed with uh, my military um, experience. I've definitely learned a, a lot of shit in there that, that's <laughs> yeah, not available to, yes, to civilians. <laughs> um, I honestly think that's because uh, like like Ian, there's a lot, there's a lot of stigma flying around with uh, being tactical. They they think they're going to use it for for negative uh yeah. like uh negative means or or for have uh, some type of negative connotation but i i understand that because you know just like uh you know n nuclear information is not out there for for a solid reason yeah, there's a lot of pussies out there yeah exactly let's be real let's not let's, let's exactly. not sure. Bro, there's exactly. a lot of pussies out there and they exactly. they they instead of fucking manning up and or womaning up and saying hey man you know what i should get tactical and learn mm -hmm. they they want they want the shit to disappear and that makes no fucking sense bro yeah bro you want that? You want you want Jimmy from down the block, that big guy, to sit on your couch when you come home? Because that's what's gonna happen. I was talking about that. He's gonna be on your couch, and your wife's gonna be cooking him dinner after he just gave her the fucking balls deep action. Let me tell you why. Because what happens is when you have fucking when we can't have the equalizers around. Exactly. That's what happens, bud. So get tactical. Yeah, hey, man. Exactly. And with that being said, I'm ending the podcast. That was pretty uh, dope. Yo. No, I'm just hey. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! You know what's fucked up? I, I'm having too much fun with you guys. Yeah, it's fun, bro. <laughs> this is fun. This is fun. Bro. I'm loving this. Yo, that's my nigga. Though he was down to he's like, all right, man, fuck it. Then I guess we're gonna end it. Yeah. <laughs> my nigga. Yo, that's so hilarious. But yeah, yeah man. Shit. All right. So where, where else are we going, man? Uh, I'm really having a good time. Yeah, me too, man. Yeah, it's like fun. I said to you earlier, I've been doing a lot of graph podcasts, yeah. and I've been having a great time. These, but I've been meeting some great dudes. Right. But I've been really kind of wanting to do something different. And I'm yeah. glad that you guys. You know, gave me the opportunity to have yeah, you guys on. And like shit. I said, man, I'm 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 glad and I'm more than blessed that you even took the time out of your life to fucking hit me up. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, I'm glad. And now, when it comes to BTS, do I get like a free course one day? Maybe like, oh, oh, bro, bro, how does this know, work? Bro, do I get like bro, an this, hour this is, free, an hour yeah, session? It's gonna be off. <laughs> it's gonna be off camera, but you know, we gonna we gonna take care of you. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? I definitely like to be because, uh, like I told you, it's the first time me using this holster. And um, right, right. and I definitely like to, to uh, see if I can oh. even draw out. What yeah. if I'm faster than you? I didn't even know. <laughs> what? If, it could yo, be. It hey, could this be. nigga, yo, you're an arrogant bastard. He laughed <laughs> so hard. <laughs> he was like, not nah, in your lifetime, sir. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> Maybe we should yeah, practice. Dad, brother. he picked up on that, too. He's like, I called you out on you, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now it's my life's my life's fucking thing uh, to be man, faster I'm than pretty you. Hard to beat, man. I'm yeah. pretty hard to hey beat. Hey man, I see you really, I'll be honest. Uh, I, the, yeah, but like I said, I've never done it. So right, what right. if I'm that good one yeah. day? But you know There's what? It's dope, shit. man. Practice, man. Practice, practice. practice. Now, when you first started, did you know that you were this good? Like you practicing? Nah, like I mean, honestly, I kind of sucked. It, 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 what made me good was just the, the passion and just the, the motivation to actually do it every day, even the days I didn't want to do it. That was when I actually ended up getting the best footage of me like drawing because I would like record all my sessions not in like the purpose of putting it up on social media but I like to watch myself and what I'm doing and maybe if I'm doing something wrong or my or my style or just like I, just, I like to watch what I'm doing and see like you know what I'm yeah saying? as you should man yeah so I, 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 I was just doing that and honestly it was it was what made me better was just the passion and just the, the, the motivation to do it when I didn't want to at the time you know, when just like, you know, I just, I'll give it a, you know, let me throw 10 minutes to practice, you know, a little 10 minutes there, a little 15 minutes. In that 10 minutes, I, I fucking, I'll, I'll, I'll record and I'll get like a really good, like, a really, like a really good, like, training session in with some good draws and nice reloads and get it on camera and then post it and then get mad love. And then I'm just like, yo, I wasn't, I was, I wasn't about to train that one day because I felt like blase blah, the world was fucking falling on my shoulders. But I, I was like, you know, what? I'm going to train I'm, and I'm going to. And then end up, you know, the end result was positive. So at the end of the day, that's what that's what drove me to get better was just the passion for what I was doing and just uh, the motivation of 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 to keep doing it, even though I did not feel like doing it at the time, even though I should know I should have been doing it. You know oh, yeah, man, this seems to be something that you're going to do, man. So at the end of the day, practice makes perfect, right? Exactly. And you real. <clears throat> and you know what? Respectfully to real. 
I usually talk more this way. I'm used to this. I'm not. I don't usually have a third guest. That's why. Oh no, I'm no, no, no you're good. Yeah, you're good. Sure. Like I catch myself. No, I caught no, myself I personally, like like just looking more towards this side than you know, and, and talking more because I'm used to that. No, it's shit. just even body posture, like, like you say, you fucking you pick up on things that you obviously you're facing that way. So you're, you're yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it, it's tough. But um, but how about you, man? With with uh, um, hold on, what the fuck was I even gonna ask you? I just fucking lost my train of thought. But yeah, how about you, bro? How about you, motherfucker? Now, me. <laughs> Let's talk about, about you, me for a fucking second. <laughs> you a wrestler? <laughs> <laughs> fucking do an elbow. Yeah. Yeah, the fucking room right here. I'll fucking show you what's up. Yo, you know what? <laughs> Yo, what really made you go to the military, man, to be honest? Because, you know, respectfully, um, you know, the way this country's going, I wouldn't want one of my children going to the military. And you know what? Honestly, that was, that was a, uh, it was kind of a, a, a big life decision for me. Um, when I was a kid, I always just always seen action movies and, and cops, and, and then I was just always infatuated and enthralled with the fucking, the whole gun shooting good guy, bad guy thing, and I was like, that's what I kind of want to do, and then once I got into fucking high school and, you know, my life choice just kind of like thinned themselves out, and I was like, hey, I can either go to college or and fucking pay to drink, or I can go to the military and get paid to drink, so I was like, fuck it, <laughs> I'm gonna go to the military, so I fucking, I ended up fucking doing the military, um, I loved part of it and I hated part of it. And so I got out with, with the fucking, um, you know, the good graces of God of not having fucking, nah, never mind. I, I did catch some bad things. Nah, nah, nah anyways. Uh, <laughs> hey man, that chlamydia <laughs> that one time that shorty gave you from the Navy, it's okay. We're, 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 it's un the water under the bridge. There you go. You took, you took some pills. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, sorry. Shout yes. out to Doc. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> <it>. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I definitely I love the part of it. I hated part of it, and that um, that's uh, um, basically the defining decision was um, I was like I can either uh, uh, do something with my life and fucking make a positive or or just bullshit and and fall into some fucking nine to five that I don't love, and then I you know and then then I fucking I did it. I signed a dotted line and I fucking. I went balls deep and I fucking, I was like, I'm not coming out of this until, you know, I got my fucking, my papers and uh, everything squared away. And, you know, that's how I fucking, that's how I got here. That's what's up, man. And, and, um, did you have any, um, cause I know you, you, what you did was a hard ass job, but while doing that, did you ever get into any firefights out there? Just wondering, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so. Talk about it. I don't uh, want you to get arrested uh, for crimes against humanity. Nah, right? nah, nah. nah, nah. <laughs> so, so we can we, we definitely, my, my homies can definitely check me on this and shit. We, we never really got into like a fucking, uh, a full on half contact <laughs> front <laughs> that, that, you know, fucking anything like that. But there was definitely fucking uh, exchange of fire here and there. Uh, when I went in, it, there, Especially uh, where I was, there wasn't a whole bunch of, of fighters because they, they had pretty much uh, the fighting season was over, which was uh, which is the peak of um, basically spring. And, <laughs> what and is so, this? Is this like football season? Like fighting season? I swear we, got, to God. we got we got we got to kill there, each there's other. There's like a specific date that they celebrate, and it's fucking it's balls on balls to the walls. It's full on from there, but uh, pretty much from the winter, it's like it's like like Christmas time to them. They're like, all right, we're gonna chill. There's fucking six feet of snow. We're not gonna fight you guys in the mountains. Yo, I've been I've seen <laughs> videos too uh, of how how vulnerable. American soldiers or soldiers are over there, my nigga. They know everything. They're fucking you, taking you, you out. you know how scary that shit is? My nigga, this, I saw a video, my nigga, that broke my heart, man. These guys were walking, just walking up a fucking mountain, and this dude was on the other side in another mountain with a fucking telescope or whatever the fuck watching it, and then his boys came up and just... It was like two dudes against like... Ten dudes and just da 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 all it was over, man. It was it was horrible to watch. Yeah, it's horrible. It gets fucking it's it's crazy. Sketchy as fuck, man. Especially um some of the shit that because most of the ordinance they have over there is fucking uh it's it's leftover ordinance from from Russia when Russia was there. So uh there's a lot of dishkas, a lot of RPKs, a lot of AKs, a lot of RPGs, a lot of fucking there's a lot of heavy ordinance that they they fucking just left over there. So so when you think about hey they're gonna strap a fucking an anti aircraft gun to the back of a fucking Toyota fucking bongo truck <laughs> and fire at and have the balls to fire at you off a mountain, you're like, they're really about this. Oh, life. they're about this life, yeah. sir. About they're shit, about bro. about that. Yeah. Bro, the amount of fucks those people give, bro, None. is less it's than all zero. All for a lot, my nigga. Bro. All for a lot. Zero. Bro, I can, I can, Respectfully, because I, I, I know Muslim, I have I can, Muslim friends. God forbid these, uh, they, uh, Israel, or not Israel, or fucking whatever country fucking uh, with that, that has Muslim extremists or like fucking ISIS, like, 
just imagine those type of people having the the power to come over here and commit war. Those type of people that don't give a fuck about nothing. No, nah, life is nothing to people, them. They will come here and destroy people, bro. Oh yeah, oh man, bro. they will come here if if they was to decide to all get their visa slowly, slowly and flood the like you know, Yo. flood the. I don't even want to say this because I don't even want to give people ideas. Five <laughs> percent uh, ide- ide- ideas are very, are very powerful. Fucking <laughs> write the check. Write the check to help them. Okay. <laughs> Wait, wait, he's saying write the check, <laughs> motherfucker. Ice is, ice is like, write the okay. check. They're going to fucking write the subpoena. Keep giving, keep giving out your name like that. Yeah, fuck that, man. I'm just kidding, man. I, you know, I don't even want to give that, but, but if they decided to do some shit like that and just have people here, just insurgents, just be here, bro. really, it, it's nothing. It's, Those it's, people are a different type of caliber, bro. Yeah. You got people walking out there in barefoot in 105 degree weather, like it's nothing, holding metal guns with turbans on their head, like, bro. Yeah, you, it don't, how do you get more extreme than that? I'm not gonna lie, that was that was one of the th- one of the things that fucking scared the shit out of me. I, I, I so this is like the first within the first six minutes of getting off the fucking plane. So when I when we got there, I was pretty much almost asleep, and I woke up because we fucking landed. Obviously, the turbulence woke me up, and yeah, I yeah. fucking I looked to my left and my right. I'm like, what the fuck did the AC go out? And so <laughs> I looked to the right, and my boy, is, he's 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 a this motherfucker's pasty white. So he's red, sitting in the seat, fucking, just fucking dripping sweat. And he's knocked the fuck out. I'm like, oh, no, the AC went out. I looked to my left, and I asked my staff, sorry. And I was like, hey, sorry, did the AC go out? He's like, no, bro. He's like, welcome to Kuwait. I was like, oh, no. The AC's on. Full blast. I was like, oh, <laughs> And the rock music comes on. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just jump out the plane out the back. So the, no shit. no reason. Movie. So, <laughs> you forgot your pack. <laughs> <laughs> so no shit, right? We're getting yeah, off the yeah. plane and shit, and we're fucking, they gave us our bags. And um, for people who don't know this, we, we travel with everything. So that means we got three fucking A duffel bags, which is the green fucking army uh, duffels. And then you also got your, your rucksack and your, your fucking TA-50, which is all your body armor and your fucking, oh your rifle. God. So you're carrying, Torture, you're carrying almost about fucking 200 pounds. So, uh, and you're carrying to somewhere where it's basically you're going to live for like the next two weeks until you get uh, forward deployed into your actual base. Mm-hmm. So I got all this fucking shit on. He's like, hey, drink water before you go to there because you're going to fucking die. And I thought he was joking. So I was like, all right, no doubt. So I fucking slug of water. I get about 60 steps. And I look to my left, I look to my right again, and I'm like, I have to fight in this? There's no fucking way. And I just fucking threw up. I just... Like, I'm about I, to throw up. <laughs> everything, bro. Everything. I swear to God, just fucking everything. I was like, there's no way I got. I can fucking fight in this. Chin, chin. You gotta put it by your chin. Oh, right. oh hold on. Oh, what I think it's falling. I think, I think I'm falling right here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I got there you. we go. I, I fixed it. Yeah, good. Tactical pause. Tactical pause. Tactical pause. <laughs> That's what happens, Whiskey No Chaser. Whiskey No Chaser podcast. Oh, excuse me. Are you good? Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. No problem, no problem. I was sinking further and further away from the mic right there. Yeah, pardon me. I'm fucking having my butt in your face. It's tight, it's a tight spot. It's tight, Tony. I did that, right, Tony? <laughs> nah, it's just going to stay right there, but But I said it, and people are going to be like, hey, man, it was respectful. <laughs> 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 it's shit, and paused. You gotta pose that ASAP, but yeah, man. Um, all right, so go. So I'm, I'm sorry. The, 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 the oh yeah, basically, yeah. I fucking got off that plane, took like 60 steps, and I fucking just threw up. And I was like, I was just thinking to myself, and I was like, yo, on, on top of like uh, minus the three duffel bags, and I was like, I have all my body armor on, and I was like, my rifle, and I was like, I gotta fight in this shit. And I was like, what the fuck am I doing out here? And I was like, yo, these people live here like their life, and I'm I'm, I'm out here for fucking like they six play minutes. Soccer bro. in this, bro. And I was like, yo, this is fully clothed. This is wild. Like these. The, like, like he said, these people are a fucking different caliber. Like, uh, oh my god, like well, superhuman. Th- I mean, just different people. And then you're going into their place. This is what they do all they're, the time. Yep, their home Easy field. Easy money. Mm. Those dudes are gonna fuck you up, man. Yeah. The only way to take them out is just drone them out. Drone them, bro. Just bounce, bounce, which is fucked up. Which is pretty much what they've been doing. They've been doing that. But what's sad about it is they've been killing um, innocent, innocent kids and people. You know, what I'm saying? but let's go with this also. Like, now, now, you know, devil's advocate. Um, they're not killing innocent people because those kids that are there, they're being trained by those other people by those to become ISIS. So you're pretty much killing uh, Hitler before he becomes Hitler. Oh, 
Maybe. I don't and, know. And it sucks. That's so fucked up. Yeah. I sound horrible for saying that because these are human beings. I shouldn't say that. That's valid. I'm taking that one back. Actually, you know why? Because um, it's a fucked up situation that they're in. So it I is. can't really, it is. I it can't is. really 100% up. talk on it. But I did play devil's advocate. That's all it was. I'm not, I, I don't want nobody dying. Yeah, because be at the end of the day, it's like, it's like, what can you do when that's the only people that are leading them? Like, what are you going to do? You're going to, unless you're going to like, like parachute, parachute, like moms and fathers, good mo- mothers and dads, and stuff <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. battlefield to like, all right, kids. But to like, them, this is a righteous you know? cause. To exactly. them, this is what Allah to, sent them for. Life, their life is this. Exactly. To, like, what, to, what, what would you do if some, some, like people came over here, started shooting up the fucking place, and started blowing buildings? Up? I'm gonna become you, yeah, exactly. Ex- that know, shit is get, wild. What it down, is that we need to do to defend our families here? That's what it is. You, you, you know, so. It's it's hard, man. It's it's a it's a bad it's, it's a fucked up situation because you can't even you know. On one hand, you're like fuck these people, man. They want to kill us, but on the other hand, they have no other. To- they, they, they don't know anything else. And what ha- all they've seen, just like when kids um uh, are afraid of police officers, some police officers. So I mean, some kids. Um, the only the only uh, relationship they've had with a police officer is when they came to take their dad, and he ain't seen his dad in ten years. Yeah, it's nice. So what do you think? You think I'm gonna yeah. like cops after that? My dad was there was good. There was food in the fridge. You took him to prison. I don't even have Jordans. I didn't have nothing. I, I was stuck. Now me and my mom were struggling. Had different type of stepfathers. Maybe got molested or something. You don't know. So that's why you know when certain situations, it's yo, you are what you're raised around and what happens. You're a to product you. of your environment. You're a product of your environment. Very Big well facts. said. Yeah. Big so facts. it's a, it's a sad and a rough situation. But it's like yo, what can we do? Can 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 we? I don't understand like how. I'm just Hector. You know what I'm saying? I whiskey you no know, chits a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> break it down. Break it can down. We, can we just down. sit and, down and, and talk real quick and be like, hey, man. You know, because I feel like there's a big misunderstanding, yo. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and, hey, man, stop taking our oil. Tell America, hey, stop taking our oil. You guys have something over there. Or pay the, the right price. I don't know, man. What what the fuck can we do? That's Cause the thing. They're always trying. The thing about it, America's trying to rob them of shit. And they're like, yo, pay. Just pay. Pay equal. Pay, man. When they can, when, when they can rob, why pay? Of course, and that's what they do. That's what it is, bro. Yeah. When they when 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 you when you look like the bad the most the baddest country in the world, why not? Why be like, yeah, we're here. The biggest and gangsters I mean, are those white the, boys in fucking in, in Washington, man. Those, those, those are the biggest, first gangsters. Those are the first and most successful gangsters. That's the biggest gang. The right white there, man, the, US the white man is right the there. first gangster, man. Them niggas came over here, started regulating Indians. Brought brought black people to fucking work like like fuck that? these guys. That's so that? fucked Did up. You hear that? Like regulated, regulated Indians. Indians. How that's fucked up? Crazy, that's bro. yeah. That's ridiculous. It's the, it's their house. How are you gonna go to someone's house and regulate them? <laughs> <laughs> you be like, you know, I don't like this fridge here, my dude. Move that shit over yeah, here. Hey, like, what? Thompson. I know this is this, this is fridge. where you've been getting food and sustenance for the past couple of years, but I'm gonna go ahead and move. Nah, food. I want it downstairs. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy, man. It's real crazy, and that's where the the that <laughs> that simple that factor is where the Second Amendment comes into play. Cause at the end of the day, man, at the end of the day, you can only be pushed so far until you have to like I don't even want to say retaliate, but you have to like push react. back, yeah. react. You know what I'm saying? And that's just that's where it comes into play, man. If these Indians and these like these Taínos, um. One of the first people to be slaves, uh, um, actually, my people, the uh, the Dominican Republic. Yeah, if these people were strapped, it would have been a different story, bro. It would have been a different story because God, I, obviously, I wasn't alive back in the day, but they had some type of weapons. These people who came through, yeah, but they, they just some, wearing muskets. They had muskets. these people had muskets. These people had muskets, and, and these Indian people had bows and arrows, like. Even though the Comanche had bows and arrows, but they had a special way of shooting the, the bows that, that they would put three or four in a hand and they would poof, poof, let them off, let them off, and just come grab back and grab four more. And then yeah. I let them off. They were fucking killing the white people. The Comanche were, 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 were killing all the, the white people because they, they were that quick with the thing. And these niggas had to fucking fill so in a fill fucking musket. Thing, yeah. <laughs> so they're like, oh my God. They're just like, <laughs> And then <laughs> miss because it was horrible. Oh, yeah. It was a fuck. What the fuck, fuck was going? Bob? <laughs> <laughs> Bob, send me more. <laughs> I need more dust, and powder, yeah. and shit. Hey, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, God. yo, do you know the story of 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 our? My uncle put me onto the story of 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 our slavery in Dominican Republic. How we were enslaved before we were Dominican Republic. Do you know the story, bro? I for twenty two years, I don't know the. Story. We were enslaved by the Haitians. I did not know that, and I was I was talking to my really? uncle. Yeah, nigga. 
Is that why there's such a big that, beef? That, that, um, right, yeah, I Haiti? didn't know that. And I was just like, why are they treating the Haitians bad, man? I like those people, man. Yeah, I like right. everybody. Right. But you know what it is? Um, the Haitians were fucking evil, man. When they were fucking ruling, they were more evil than the fucking white people, man. They would Get boil families, my nigga. Rice. Boil families, my nigga. They would point. fucking set up a fire and just throw your fucking kids in that bitch, my nigga. I can see that shit. And, okay. and if you go, and from what I'm hearing, and this is, you know, if, if uh, you know, comment below, like, comment, subscribe. I'm on everything, so you know how that how that goes. Yes, um, fucking, um, if I'm wrong, you know what I'm saying? My uncle, you know, and my uncle's not racist. He's just really like a historian and he's a very, right. he's a patriot, uh, patriotic type of guy okay. when it comes to DR. He has foundations that he works. He, it's ridiculous. He sends wheelchairs over there all the time. He really loves his country. That's right. what's up, hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's over here and he's trying Shout to make a to difference you. to help. Yeah, and that's my right. nigga, Dario. Dario, man, I love you, bro. Um, but fucking, um, he told me that, that, uh, it's, it was 22 years of slavery. I was like, at, at my, oh, my comment was, why do they treat the Haitians so bad? That's funny. He's like, Malo, Malo. <laughs> <laughs> he I looked already, at you. He said, like, what did I you say? Malo. <laughs> <laughs> I already see the difference. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, check out the So he told me the story. He was, like, he was like, yo, you know what? We were enslaved by them because what it was is that Haiti was the first ones to get the country. They had the country okay. first, and um, they enslaved the, the the Spaniards, the Italians, the because Dominicans are, re, are a mix of Spaniard, Italian, African, yeah, Spaniard and French. We got that, those four. It's crazy because I did it. We have all four of those. Yeah, not too long ago, and those exactly what came up. Bro. Yeah, my nigga, that's us. It's that's crazy. that's why. That's why another thing that people be like, oh, the Dominicans be talking. You're, you're not black. We're not black, man. We got a lot of mix. We, we're black. We're, we're I mean, we're Afri of African descent, but we have three other mixes. We can't just let one overpower. This is all our mix into one. So I'm just saying that as Dominicans, we have our own culture. We have our own slavery struggle that we went through. Right. Wasn't as long as 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 the African Americans in America. America, which is fucked up. Nobody should have ever been enslaved, but you know, we had our shit. We fought out of it, and you know, it, it's not the same caliber, the same situation, not at all. Because right. Dominican Republic is small exactly. compared to America, right. and remember that shit. Them niggas, you know, they had the, the white the white man had fucking everything. Exactly. So at the end of the day, it was very hard to, and they would fucking they they ruled by fear, man. They ruled by fear, man. They, have you ever heard of Derby's Cup? Derby's Cup, no. My nigga, this is the most horrible fucking thing that was done to slaves, man. No, they would about. fucking take um, a, a slave in front of everybody, open up his mouth with a fucking funnel, and have another slave, his friend preferably, shit in his mouth. And if he didn't do it, if he didn't do that shit, they would fuck up his children or do some fuck worse shit. So you had to shit in your boy's mouth in a fucking funnel, my nigga. What? How fucked up was that, B? Ah, Derby's Cup. Cup. Look it up, my nigga. Derby's Cup. Wow. Disgusting! It's horrible. It's fucking. It's, wow. fucking, it's it's horrible what you, they did to you, those you, people, man. Yo, you, know, you, you, we sit here. You sit here, and we're talking about stuff like that. And you just got to be thankful that we wasn't born in that. We're living time. in the best times ever. Everybody bitches about now, my nigga. Yeah. We're living in the best times ever. Best yeah, time, bro. No, best, best times, times ever. Like fucking. Drake said it, bro. It's the best time to be alive, my niggas. Right now, yo, bro. my nigga. Best time nigga, to be think alive. about it. I, I, so I used to have a fantasy of being a cowboy. Okay. I loved I loved westerns, my nigga, since forever. I, I watched westerns, my nigga, for a long time. I like westerns, and then <laughs> that movie Six Minute Ways to Die in the West came out, and he he put everything in perspective. <laughs> oh, I was like, yeah. oh hell no, <laughs> nigga, you could you could, somebody close around you might die, my nigga. Yo, it's a bad no, situation. It was crazy, yeah. I nigga, can imagine. nigga, how... yo, and imagine how people smiled. They weren't showering. They had to ride for nah. yo. And then Victorian days, not to mention Romeo, uh, Ro Romeo and uh, Romeo. I was about to Romeo, Santo. <laughs> Romeo, Santo. Romeo, and Julieta. <laughs> 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 Romeo and Juliet be? <laughs> Yo, son. Uh, <laughs> them people stank, man. I don't give a fuck how fine Ro uh, uh, Juliet was, my nigga. Them titties stank right under the top. Because they was the taking bottom. showers in lakes and shit. Like, nigga, they, they nah, went, my nigga, like, they I'm about as, as fresh as my river bath they, last year. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, they would just put perfume on. They just, t -t 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 oh my God, my nigga. No. So we're living in the best times. Facts. The best times ever, man. I wouldn't so want to live when in. When you was and hitting them back shots, she had slappy old fucking wind coming up. Yeah. Face. <laughs> nigga, that's why the niggas used to go. The kid, so the smell don't come out. <laughs> like, yo, you got to fucking cover that shit. 
<laughs> this shit is disgusting. Oh, man. Yo, oh my Jeff, God. He puts yeah. the top around. I'm dead. <laughs> Yo. Definitely, man. Yeah, Horrible people times. People don't realize, man. Like, like I said, like, today's the best time to be alive, man. And so, I don't even know if the future's going to be better than this. I feel like we're fact. living at the best times. but I don't even fact. know what's to come from, it, from it, what's happening. It can be, it can be, it can be on some Wakanda future or it can be on some like, like post-apocalyptic, Mad Max Batman, type of shit, Mad yeah. Max, like everybody's locked down shit. You know, I don't go, want that, man. It could go either way, man. I it, like what we were doing already. Just let's go back to that. You know what I'm saying? Let's take off the masks already because the masks, the niggas is tripping about the, yeah. all, all the masks. If you're healthy, come out. Do your exactly. job. Do your thing. If you're sick, stay your punk ass home. That's the that's that's the thing. Yeah. And that's Wash the, the, the rule of hands. thumb. And that's that's literally the rule of thumb. The first rule. Stay your ass home. Wash your fucking stinky ass and wash your hands, man. Yo, it's it's simple rules, my nigga, that they told you. Yeah. My mama told me this as a kid. <laughs> I think, and I carried it for the rest of my life. Why can't you, buddy? I think you can. And uh, this is, yo, this is, this is old dude that like just always shows and like outside of my house, dude. Bro, and this dude is like 70, 80 years old. I'm like, yo, if the room is not getting this nigga, bro, like, and this dude is outside, my nigga. Like, I'm talking about outside, outside. You know what I'm saying? Like, high fiving niggas. Yeah. Nigga, like, <laughs> Making out po- with random sluts. Posted. Yeah, yeah. He's posted. 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 This nigga's posted on the store before it even opens. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> this man is outside and he's still kicking, bro. Then, like, I'm pretty sure, like, young, not young, I don't want to say every single young person, but like, the majority of us, we should be all right. You it's know? about health, my yeah, brother. Take your vitamins. If you ain't, if you ain't drinking orange juice, like, you know, if you ain't eating your greens, make sure you, you make up for those, uh, Fucking those those the, the nutrients that those, they provide with vitamins. Or How many fruits and vegetables were at the supermarket the whole time? I, I I we always buy fruits and vegetables in my house and shit. We'd be making juices and everything like that. I'm not the super healthiest motherfucker. I love cheeseburgers and French fries right. myself oh, nice. personally. Can't get enough of that. Yeah, shit. I, cannot, I cannot, I cannot, But I try to work out a little bit and I try to right. fucking eat a little bit good sometimes, most of the time. But <laughs> but yo, my nigga, I was buying fruits and vegetables, easy money. Easy money, my nigga. Like the only shit that was sold out was all the bullshit, the the, the macaronis and, the, and everything. Yeah. But yo, you went the the produce section popping, my nigga. You get yourself. You get, yeah, I was about to go vegan. I was like, oh babe, we're gonna go vegan in this house. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we didn't have to do that shit. I mean, you know what? I, I like vegetables, but I like my vegetables with my meats. Facts. I'm a carnivore, man. Like I I I I, I, I I'm not gonna lie. I stopped with the with the red meats. I'm more for like leaning towards like chicken, just chicken and stuff. I mean, eventually I want to stop, man, but it's just hard, bro. When you're it's hard to on, stop, when You're man. raised on it, bro. Yeah. Nothing, bro, especially the Spanish food is rice, beans, and fucking steak, chicken, and, you know. My boy Cass calls us all, like, zombies. He's like, yeah, man, you guys are zombies. You're f- eating flesh. Yeah. But I'm I, like, I understand. It's supposed to. We got these teeth. It's cases, yeah, man. I, I understand it. To a, <laughs> I, yeah, I, for millions of years, it's in my DNA, bro. No, I, I understand. I get it to a point, but it's like, I get it to a point. That where we're eating processed meat. We overeat meat, too. No, no, no. Processed, processed meat, yeah. meat. Meat that's stored and fucked with. You know what I'm saying? Cold but, cuts. Cold cuts. <laughs> but if you, look at, if you look at it's nature, delicious. yo, if you look at nature, obviously we're not savages. We're not savages. We're civilized no. humans. But we're animals at the end of the day. We're a species. We're a species. We're opportunists. We got to eat with that, what's around. So if there was a bunch of buffalo around, we were going to eat that at that time. That, you know if there was just veggies, we were going to eat that. We are going to eat that, exactly. We're but we also meat. needed meat. That's why we were out there hunting meat, too. We weren't, exactly. you know what I'm saying? We way, we do eat way too much meat. Of course. We yeah. eat way too much. We're supposed to just eat once a day, my nigga. Like, I actually went on a thing that I was eating once a day, and I was fine, my nigga. Oh, yeah? Like, 100% energy, I good. I cannot do that, bro. My nigga, it's it's... Everybody's body's different, but I I promise you, if you you get used to it after two weeks, just eating once a day. I'm talking about a good meal, you know, some healthy good shit. You drink right. water all day, and it's fucking. You have more energy because your body's not full of bullshit, and you're just eating one time. And that one time you're eating, your body's taking in everything. Right. Let, let me ask you a question. With that, with eating that one uh, one meal a day, did you eat at a specific time? Yeah, because I would I would take off. I would eat. I would have eight hours of 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 playtime, of, 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 yeah, of like basically so sixteen hours almost. off, yeah, intermittent fasting. So, and but then it would be that I was working, so I was too busy to eat anyway. Okay, right. so uh, I'm working, you know, and I'm not working sitting bullshit. And I, I'm I'm trying to chill operator. Well, I was a trying to chill operator at that time, uh, and um, I'm unloading trucks at the same time for the post office. I'm fucking, I'm doing it. Yeah. yeah, so I'm working, you know what I'm saying? But I felt good, my nigga. Like I I was not. Like I wasn't, I didn't feel like I was losing energy. I was sleeping good. It's, I feel for me, it works good for me. Right, right. Let me, let me. Now follow it's not you something on, that uh, I do. Another question: uh, When you, if you miss that time or that time got pushed back, 
Did it affect you? I almost went. Point? I almost went 24 hours. No shit. They didn't even notice. I think wow. I went. I think I went like 22 right. hours. Wow. I was. I was. I was. Like, oh shit! I'm actually good. That's Energized. Crazy. It happens. Yeah. Your body gets. Yo, man, we're fucking adaptive creatures, bro. Yeah, yeah. Our bodies are, are are really meant to just adapt to anything. It's just a mental thing, also. Yeah, if, the human body is astonishing, bro. You, facts, it's amazing. You, they, like you said, we're 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 meant to adapt, and that's actually that's fucking to the T. Because at the like at the end of the day, if you if you adapt yourself to eat in a certain type of way, that's that's, that's the way is. you're gonna survive, yeah. and that's what your body knows. If you eat a certain type of way, whether it's like all greens, that's the way your body's gonna adapt to and survive to, and just like come accustomed to whether it's missing nutrients or not. It's just gonna find a way to live off what you're doing at the time. So it is better to go. I guess I don't wanna say it is better to go vegan because I guess there's more. Just I guess there's more no process. There's you know more mm-hmm. uh, minerals, a lot of minerals that that don't come in meat and stuff like that. You know, um, it is beneficial. It's just hard for a lot of people because just uh, people are just trained to eat a certain way. And when you're at a certain age, and especially if you're fucking like over I had beef ribs yesterday. Delicious. <laughs> 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 Not poor. I, bur- I had a burger the other day, man, you know, and I felt I didn't feel guilty. You know, it was good. So <laughs> it was like, it's just, I guess, you know, it's, it's regulating, I guess, regulating me and hopefully eventually giving it up. Um, cause at the end of the day, man, I don't, if I'm going to eat meat, I want to eat meat that I hunt for. I don't, I would eat, love that. I don't want to eat meat that I buy in the supermarket, you know, as I heard. And, and it's also a um, meat that like, I've heard like, you know, meat that you hunt, like, you know, wild uh, meat better. is the best, is the best. Way better. My like, dude, you have, you're eating an animal that, um, for a living. It's trying to live. Yeah. It's not just grazing on a farm that's being allowed. That motherfucker's running. Yeah, he's fucking, <laughs> he's jumping up. <laughs> this fucking thing. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. I'm yeah. fucking <laughs> taking that in, bro. My motherfucking steak got character, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking, you're taking that, all that, it's all that fact. energy. You're taking it's that in, my nigga. I guarantee you, you grow an, an extra inch on your boner, man. Eating bro. shit like that, bro. <laughs> that, that blood and shit is just it's boiling, boiling it's just going it's, through you man you it's got, super healthy man i never thought about it like that you're absolutely right bro like yeah you know, you're animals, fucking eating a wild they're animal. fucking they're active they're out they know this you're not eating an animal that's sitting around doing nothing you're eating an animal that's been through some shit man yeah, you're facts. taking that in facts. so i mean shit i would love to be able to hunt it's probably something that i would do i will do in the future once i'm rich oh. that i can afford to that, do it because us poor people we can't brother, afford it brother let me tell you something no, right now you don't need to be rich in order to get your hunting mm-hmm. license so you can do that now. It's Are not we going to hunt, ex- guys? Are we going to become hunting BTS hunting partners? We, 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 it's, 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 it's very high, BTS, very high. WNC. The, yo, I, I'll be honest, man. Right Latinos, la, la, Latinos we, we should start some type of thing like this. Because, yo, really? Like I said, my nigga, the only people that I know that do things like this are white people, and I really don't trust them to be in the forest with them. I'll be honest, my nigga, I'm not, I don't trust to be in the forest with you. <laughs> sure, sure. I don't know what the fuck y'all gonna do to me. And they might like, have a ritual. <laughs> hey, man, did you hear about this fucking uh, poor black woman? She went to an all white, oh, uh, 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 all white. You know, it's, he's joking, but in a sense, it's no, it's no. This is real story. Reality. This is real story. There you go. See, this is a real story. Go. I'm telling you. So See, this there lady you go. goes to an all white um, uh, pajama party. Moms. Only black lady in the neighborhood. She just came up. She bought a nice house in the neighborhood. So she's probably thinking, hey, man, all these Karens are going to fuck with me. They, they, they actually <laughs> accepted me. Right. Yo, how they beat that woman to death and nobody finds out nothing. She's buried or found in the backyard the next morning. Wow. Dead. I feel that they did some ritual on her and <laughs> fucked her up. And, 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 and she was probably trying to escape or anything, but she died. And Damn. nobody solved that case. All those Karens are living taking their children to soccer practice. So that's my fear, my nigga. That's why it's hard to be able to trust people that you don't know, especially in a situation with a strap, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I got mine on me, but when I'm turning around trying to do something, what are you going to do, B? Right? It only takes a few seconds. I actually feel comfortable going somewhere with you guys. I don't oh. think that we're going to fucking... I, I don't think I'm going to turn around. You guys are going to shoot me in the back. Right. I think, you don't get I think that we're going to have a great time. Yeah, you don't get that vibe. You, know yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. put out that yeah. type of energy. You're not going to have... You're not going to do a ritual, man. These people... Um, have rituals that that they might have to sacrifice somebody. I don't know. I don't want to be. <laughs> it, I don't want to be sacrificed, my and G. It, and it sucks because that that whole stigma is placed on like white people, and there's majority of them are cool. Great majority people. of them, great, great people. Until you get them in the woods, and once you get them in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Bob, you gonna do me like this? Yo, Bob, he's like, yo, man, we're not at work Bob. anymore, boy. What? No. My, my, my primal instinct is kicking in. Hey, man, 
<laughs> we're, we're a fucking couple miles away from civil, civil, civilization, man. Yeah. Let's take a walk. <laughs> nah, so, but yeah, man. Uh, the, 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 stigma, the stigma that gets put on social media, you know? It's the stigma that gets... Oh, uh, I gotta hit that one out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell one now. <laughs> Let all it right, out, so, man. <laughs> all right, so yeah, it's, it's just, it sucks because the stigma, man, because I have a lot of white friends and I went to... Uh, we went to high school with a lot of white people and majority of them are cool. You know, you got yeah, your I got fucking, white friends too. Yeah. You got your jocks, you got your bullies, you know, here and there. But you know, majority of them, are cool, uh, the majority of them. Shout are out cool. to Emily and Kevin. I love you guys. These are real <laughs> friends. They're really, I'm really Whitest tight with them. They're, they're, <laughs> and, and they're both redheads. They're 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 husband and wife or boyfriend and girlfriend, but husband and wife. They're gonna be together forever. And um and they 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 almost look like they 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 might be family, but they're redheads and they're white and they're fucking awesome. And I love those guys. Shout Literally, out to love Shout those out to guys. So you see, I got white friends, motherfucker. Real, real, <laughs> real friends that I could actually go to their house right now, and it's cool. And shit, but uh, yeah, <laughs> moving yeah. on. The, 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 the I'd go to the woods with them. I'd go to. The woods. <laughs> <laughs> I trust them. They're cool. <laughs> but to, uh, okay, like, the, stigma, the stigma of just like of, of social the the, the is even is even happening to white people now because like the stigma that gets put out on social media, like how you said, like how I, I to be honest with you, I'm scared too, bro. I'm scared of Bob. You know what I'm saying, like. <laughs> I'm scared. Of, I'm scared of Bob. If I turn my back on Bob, Bob, Bob. might lose his fucking mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bob be bugging. Bob I'm, be bugging. I'm, I'm Triple B. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a thought that gets. It's a thought that's in my head. You know what I'm saying? That's but, a T-shirt. Five percent. I'm sorry, man. God, I'm good. trying to get money, man. That's good. Bob be bugging. <laughs> Triple B, my nigga. That, right I, that, that's mine, nigga. I'm taking that shit. <laughs> Don't fucking take it. Go ahead. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's it, and the reason why I get scared is because the the the, um, the agenda that the media pushes is uh, pushes on uh, on social media that. These, the white man is fucking dangerous and blah blah blah. Yeah, they they are dangerous white. They're, they're very like like bad white people. They are, of course, of course, yeah, yeah. Handful. I see them everywhere. There's also a handful of Hispanics. There's also a handful of blacks. There's also a, a handful lot of, of fucked aliens, up people, my Asians, G. Whatever you want to call it. There's always gonna Wait, be. Did a you handful. say aliens? Yeah. Damn, this nigga was like, yo, he went to the sky where he's like, yo, there's oh, aliens oh, that are bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Every yeah. alien oh, I've oh, met oh, has been oh. cool, my nigga. <laughs> Every alien I've met. We, we, oh. uh, we gonna have to come back for. Shout conspiracy. out to Zildar and Manora. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. We might, we might, we might have to, we might have to come back and, and, and put on our little tinfoil hats and get conspiracy, you know, get, get a little conspiracy. Hey, I believe that there's aliens. I just don't believe that they're here right now with us. Brother, and if they are here, brother, I, I, they're here, brother. Help us, help, help me, nigga, help me, help me. I feel like, brother, they're here, uh -huh. but like. They're so far advanced in in the mind and just what this is, as in what's happening now, like life, that they're not gonna be like, hey, what's up? This is us. We're the aliens, and you know, like you want to chill. Like I don't, I don't feel like they're into chilling. You know, say I feel like they they have a higher purpose. Like they they're beings that are not physical. They're not like so. What they taking over our bodies or something like that? Because they, if they're amongst us, they're yeah. saying that if they're among us, then I guess uh, they they're taking our shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically taking uh, taking taking shape and and basically almost like almost like possession almost. But there's so many different like fucking stigmas and so many different like type of quote unquote aliens from grays with the little yeah. little motherfuckers with the big, big heads. Head, yeah. Then you got spirits that are aliens because that, that's what I call it, like like I that's what I call spirits aliens you know. The un, they're fucking. I just feel like that's a replay of of a time. Like if you see something like a uh, 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 some type of spirit, it's a replay of a time that was there. So if I had somebody here that that I see walk by, that it guy's happened. not there. It, it just ha it happened. He was here already. Cause this this building we own this building. It's a hundred year. It's over hundred year old building. There's been bodies, nigga. The, 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 a dude before I got I moved in, he died in my apartment. I don't see him. He's cool right. if he is. And I told, <laughs> I told him from the moment I moved in, I was like, hey man. We could share this place. Just don't <laughs> let me see you, motherfucker. And he's been cool about it. I think. I don't yeah, know. I but mean, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, like, and, and it's Until just... Until you sleep and are you in the shower when you close your eyes to wash your hair. Oh, yeah, man. Yo, my nigga. <laughs> 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 my nigga, I'll be honest with you. It's always been a thing. I wash when I wash my face. I do it really fast because I always feel that something. Can, all right, so then so movie, in, in one movie, in one movie, <laughs> in one movie, there's, there's uh, I think a Tupac was playing a character. He was in the shower. He had soap in his eyes. He, who's there? Who's there? I'm like nigga. Who's who's there? 
I'm coming out the shower. <laughs> Dick and ball swinging, nigga. We banging, know, my we nigga. Banging I don't give a fuck, my nigga. I'm not allowing you. Bro, that's probably the worst situation, having to bang out straight out the shower. I, yeah. <laughs> so one of my boys, he's in the military. He's a Marine. He had to bang out in, in, in the shower. He's like, yeah, man, yeah. I had to fuck that nigga up. I was naked. But that nigga was being disrespectful. I was dick and ball swinging, just punching this nigga in the head. <laughs> I was like, hey, man, you got to do what you got to do, sir. It gets crazy, bro. <laughs> it do, hey, man, it gets crazy in the shower, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to be that, that, right, so yeah, you saying that that when you close your eyes and you're in the shower shit, it's like one of the things that when I I, I wash my face, I do it real fast. It's like a yeah, like the, like once I get to the eyes area, and as I'm washing my face, I, I don't even have my eyes closed. You start opening them. <laughs> I open them. I get soap in my eye every once in a while, but I'm I actually perfected it because now what I do is I do the wa- roundabout, and then when once I'm doing the wash, keep the like, technique, slap, keep the technique, bang, and then everything's coming down. Right. It's real quick, bang. You saw how fast it was? My face is washed. I'm, I'm ready Yo, to bang. The tutorial coming soon. Tutorial. Yeah, yeah. tutorial. Wash your face in the shower and not get murdered. I mean, yo, in all honesty. If I had if I ready to have, bang faces, yeah. here we go. <laughs> if I didn't have kids and shit, I'd walk around with my Glock in the house all the time. I'd have things, you know, those little things that you could just put. Oh, yeah. The little, the, the, oh, that's the, how I walk around that's now. That's how I walk As around. you should, nigga. But you know what? I just I can't, uh, you know. Bro, I fucking, house. bro, uh, when I'm home, bro, like, this shit comes to me every I sleep with this. I fucking go in the shower with this. As you should, man. <laughs> like, you, you know, uh, uh, like, right now, my, my wife is really on that, like, because, you know, I got daughters, they're small. She really doesn't want. That right, right understand, now, but, but understand, once they're old enough that I they, that I can teach them to handle a gun, right. that's when I'm gonna bring introduce them to guns. Right, right. But till then, we don't need to talk much about it or do anything about it. It's what it is, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah, sure. I feel like it, uh, it has to be. You have to wait for a certain age. But I mean, kids develop in all different ways. There's some kids that are fucking like geniuses at the age of six. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But like, there's you have to wait till they can comprehend the fact that this is a deadly. Like this is a lethal weapon. Yes. Like this is a weapon. Yeah, this is a tool. This is a weapon for self defense, and they have to understand that. And even people now don't fucking understand that. That this is not. It's not a weapon, right? It's it's a weapon for self defense, not aggressiveness for self defense. Need it be? Need it be? Somebody comes at you with the same type of lethality. If somebody wants to take your life, you have an equalizer. Yeah. Self defense. Big. Big, big fucking thing, man. Self defense. That's a mentality, though. You know, a lot of yeah. people don't have that, that mentality. That's the thing, man. That's the that's thing. how I look. Yo, my gun, I I keep it ready to go, clean. Keep one in the fucking chamber. You know what I'm saying? It's 15. I have 16. One inside, ready to go, and then the 15 in the bottom because you never know. Damn, that's a rhyme. Now, should I not do that? Um. Well, I have it in the safe. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, I'm not even gonna say say. <laughs> I feel you. I caught onto it. Yeah. <clears throat> um, oh, that's not a good idea. I no, no, no. Uh, it, it is, I, it I, is. I, th- I think you're using the uh, the wrong the number. wrong terminology. Yeah. Um, what you mean is you keep you keep one in the head and then uh, and nine in the nine in the mag. You know what I mean? Well, I have I have a, yeah, a Glock, you, so I have yeah, fifteen. Yeah, it's yeah, a fifteen no, round. No, 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 oh, we, oh shit! I forgot. Fuck. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're right. You keep one in the head, head and yeah. nine in the mag. Nine right. in the mag. My bad. Yeah, I no. fucked up the number. Or I you fuck. keep or you keep one in the head and ten in the mag because you yeah. could you could yeah. You yeah that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Yeah, exactly. I fucked up the numbers. You you clean it out. You know, you top it off. We what we call that is called topping it off. There you go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Topping it off. Yeah, I I keep the 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 I keep eleven because one in the one in the head. And ten, ten in the, ten in the mag. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My so, bad. I, I, you know what? I was going off for of old numbers because until recently, exactly. it wasn't. But it, I definitely changed what I, what I, my mags got rid of all of them, and they're ready to go. <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. Don't worry. Just, our, our mags are fixed over here. So yeah, we fixed the mags. The Boogaloo boys are out now. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, man. We got to be legal, as legal as possible. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you know what? I actually was going. I, I, I literally forgot I did all that because I, I'm used to talking right, the 15 right. to 16. Yeah, no, because uh, um, Glock is, that's what originally it comes with. Yeah, that's, and then in Jersey, the original. bitch ass. Hey, man, fuck you, man. How about that, man? Fuck you guys in Jersey exactly. for this shit. Because the simple fact. You make me, you make me only. Ten rounds with that. That's bullshit. Ten fucking rounds. You think you the me? criminals are following that law? They got thirty round clips, motherfucker. Yeah, you think, I mean, I can handle motherfucker with one or two, but I would love to have the option of thirty. <laughs> what, what if you handle one motherfucker one or two? But what if there's eight? Now you fucking have ten rounds and there's five. You just hit, you you have to hit somebody with two. That's five people you just hit. Now there's exactly. there's three more people that ready to rock you with thirty round clips, bitch. 
I don't understand what the, what's the point the of point. having less rounds and and or see, controlling that, the rounds. See the the whole st- the whole the whole thing about it is you can uh, they think that you can hurt less people because of the the whole mass shootings. But uh, yo, Kev, uh, pass your mag over here real quick. But what they fail to realize, throw ahead, go ahead. Throw. Oh, oh, it's like oh, horrible. <laughs> horrible. Right, look, 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 yeah, so professional. No, I'm just kidding. It's all good, man. It's all good. Everything's empty. But yeah, we're good. it's clear. What people fail to realize is like, oh, oh, we, we only can give you 10 rounds. All right. So we have we have 10 rounds. I go bang, 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 bang. I fire off 10 rounds and they think, oh, the mass shooting stops there. But what they fail to realize is you got another mag right there Real with quick. another 10 how quick, rounds. How, how many that seconds did so it take? Like that, that not, not even one second. But that, that's what they fail to realize. It's just a mag change is that is is that easy? Is that easy, bro? And and, that and, easy, Glock, and Glocks. To be honest, Glock with Glock. What I love is that it, it's really easy to bring bring it out. I, I've had like my father Smith and Wesson doesn't pull it out as fast as this. It's, to be honest, it's the fact that the bottom is made out of like um pot like just polymer and it's a really yeah. good hard polymer. Great gun. Great gun made out of uh, plastic. But guess what? This plastic is really hard to break. And this thing will go off if you pull that trigger every fucking time. You know what I'm saying? Like, it will not fucking fail you. If there's one in the head, you pull that trigger, it's going off. You know what I'm saying? If you if there's one in the head, you drop it, it won't go off. If there's one in the head, you fucking fling it off a mountain, probably won't go off. <laughs> yeah, you know? probably won't. We don't know because we haven't tried. We haven't tried it, but hey, <laughs> BTS Solutions, that's that's coming up. You know what I'm <laughs> We're flinging guns off <laughs> <up laughs> mountains. Glock to- <laughs> test it. You got to test Glock it out, right? Yeah, Glock to test. Glock test. That's it's dope. coming soon, man. But it's, it's just really reliable, and that's why uh, I went with it, man. And even though it's a stigma, because a lot of rappers talk about it, Glock this, Glock that, um... I trust my life with this, and you know, I I trust it so much that I put it in my fucking, you know, I have appendix carry. You know, I fucking got this shit sitting like basically on my dick. You know, yo, I've so, always been a, a, a little <laughs> weird about because I'm like, I'd rather lose a hip than a, than a, than a dick. You right. feel me? At the end of the day, I feel you. I, yo, to be honest with you, man, like I'm not even gonna stunt, man. It's it's a little nerve wracking carrying a loaded gun. You know what I'm saying, like. I'm not gonna. I'm nice with it, you know. what I'm saying, and at the end of the day, I trust this not to go off. Unless you have a concealed I, carry permit? Um, getting one. Um, yeah, because we want to. I want to talk about that one off off camera. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I too. I mean, I'm a celebrity now, so I, I, might, I might need a <laughs> wait, wait, we concealed protect, carry. I deserve protect. We, we, protect we gotta the protect ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we can talk about that off um, off camera. Um, but yeah, like uh, you know, just like the, I carry appendix, but you know, I'm I'm not gonna say I'm. It's it's ner- it's a little nerve wracking, you know, having a loaded gun right by my dick. You know, God yeah, forbid, God forbid, yeah. God forbid, <laughs> hey, you know. God forbid something malfunctions inside the, the the firearm that I can't control. That you know, and it goes off, and one of my nuts gets shot off, or something like that. You know, like, yeah, it's something I think about, and yeah, I do get scared. I'm not gonna lie to you. I do get scared. You know, I'm I'm human being, my nigga. I get scared. Yeah, I get scared. But guess what? You know, I'm I I fucking I face fear. You know, but at the end of the day, yeah. it's like. Yeah, I'm scared, but I do. I trust this enough not to go off. So it's a I, good strap, man. It, the the, the well, I don't know what the technology is behind it. Like I don't know the science. I I mean, I see actually, it. I see it in there when you take it apart. But right. what I'm talking about is like how other guns have that safety button. You know what I'm saying? I e right. uh, Smith and Wesson. They have the the safety button, and then um, we don't hear. I mean, the safety is literally it's just the trigger. The trigger there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Once once you ha- um have have that, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. You uh, what is it called? Um, it's 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 ready to go. Yeah, it's ready to go. And that's what I like about this shit mm-hmm. and, and stuff. Yo, Glock, uh, sponsor the show, bro. Sponsor the sponsor fucking the show, show, bro. Man. Holla at us, <laughs> Glock. On, we Glock. fuck with you, my nigga. At least send me some t-shirts. I like Glock t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, man. yeah, man. All of us. Glock boys, man. Yeah, we fuck with the Glocks, man. Glocks is the shit. Yeah, and man. um, yeah, I've shot other guns. I enjoy my Glock. Yeah, that's I it. I like it. the trigger. I love, I love it, man. Have you modified your triggers? Um, or honestly, have, I'm uh, I'm in the I'm in the process of gooching uh, what, what we call it in the, the gun it's called Gucci out the gooching out the Glock. Yeah, I'm in the process of doing that, man. I just bought a slide and I'm about to put a red dot on this motherfucker, so Oof. it's gonna be nice, man. Um, but modifying the trigger, I have actually asked about it. The the only thing I would want to modify is, as you can see, like well, I don't want to point in your direction, but um, as you can see, like the it's curved. Talking to the mic. Uh, as, as you Please. can see, as you can see, it's curved, right? Yeah. So. I want to get a flat face trigger, so okay. something that's flat. You know what I'm saying? So it's more of like a, when my my tip hangs on it, it's not like my my finger is not really fully extended. You know, like my f- tip finger is not fully or really fully extended, and it just feels a lot better with a flat face. And other than that, that's the only reason why I would want another trigger, because I've asked about like other triggers, and a lot of people just 
run stock triggers, man. They, co- I was uh, the reason I asked is because like I've shot other guns and I enjoy my trigger better. I feel um, like uh, you know other guns have a little bit of more of a spongy feel for me. Mm-hmm. I don't know if anybody else. I don't give a fuck what anybody else. This is how right. I feel. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like when I pull my trigger here, it's just you know. It's it it's, just, it's, a, it's a good crisp. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's just what I, that's what yeah, I'm and, at and, with. And the fact that that you know you how you feel that like uh how you um when you when you come up on the on the wall when we when, I I don't know if you know the term but when you come up on the wall right before the click right before the bang you know you just um the the retention is not so much I've shot guns before that is heavy 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 when you come back to that wall you really gotta like. Mm. Yeah, that, I don't. Yes, that that's like, what I'm like. I just feel that's where I'm saying the sponge comes from because right, it's right. soft and then hard. Like you know, you just hit that wall, like you said. Mm-hmm. Yes, you 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 described it very well. And, and this one's like a more of a fluent, just yeah, cat. Yeah, it's more. Uh, it's it still has that spongy, that spongy feeling, but it's not as as hard as like as previous guns I've shot before. Yeah, the click comes where where I I want it. I guess yeah, I don't exactly, know. I yeah. guess that's what it is. It cl- the click feels good to me. You know, though I like where the wall is, and just you know, I just I you know I love this gun, you know, I, and oh, man, when I modify it, it's gonna be fucking sick. But um, yeah, man, and that's like you said, like the other reason why we cho- I chose Glock because it's a Lego. You know, yeah. I take this part out, put this in, put this out, put this in, and just have fun with it, you know. But man, let me tell you guys something, man. If you're getting into the gun world, this shit is expensive. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, let me tell you, bro. Expensive this shit is expensive, bro. Expensive it's hobby. expensive. You're gonna, you, you're gonna. <laughs> if you got f- uh, uh, five guns, you you definitely have ten thousand. Uh, about not ten thousand. If uh, real good guns, I'm talking. about. you have because uh, you have over ammo. Five. You have over. over five. Fi- yeah, over five thousand dollars. I was talking about ammo. I don't know why I was talking about uh, ammo because I like to have a I keep a lot of rounds. Right, right, right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Way to be. Yep. Yeah, I yeah. keep a lot of rounds just in case. At least two, three, two, three hundred. I like that. I'm like I'm overkill, I guess. <laughs> no, no, no. That's the exact, 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 uh, no, exact, exact way to be. I have no. I'm talking about that. I'm, I'm wilding out. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Ex- no, that's the exact the, way you want to be. I'm bro. wilding out for not being like you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, because yo, I almost ordered, ordered another thousand just to be like, yo, bro, no, yeah. that's we're, yeah. We're, that's, we're being, I order them by the thousand. Just yeah, to, yeah, I'm slacking right now. Yeah, that's me and him about to be on the same thing. Yeah, we need you need more more rounds, man, just in case you know and shit. And especially, you know, um, well, with me, with the mags, I, I, I wanted to order more mags just because, wh- you know, what if? What if? Sometimes if you, you know that's, what I'm saying? That's, a, that's the fucking grand question right Yeah, because it comes with what three, which if? is dope. It's great that it comes with three 10-round mags and, and stuff. So that's nice. You get 30 rounds. But um, we need more rounds, man. So at the end of the day, buddies, were you guys with the ruling of the fucking amount of rounds you have in each mag? It's stupid. Because you know what? I'm going to carry more mags. Yeah, I'm going to have definitely. to carry more mags. That's exactly yeah, You right. know what I'm saying? And, and, I, and I can't wait to talk to you about about the, um you know, the afterwards about, right, right. you know, concealed carry. Because I, I've really been wanting to, even if it's just to apply to see what happens. Because, right, right. you know, I have my reasons. You know what I'm saying? I, I You mm-hmm. know, I'm a business owner also. I work. You know, my father's a business owner. I, I run this building too for him. Right. So at the end of the day, I I, I feel that um, oh, you, you know, definitely need to protect yourself, bro. Exactly, I gotta protect if you have property. assets. If you have assets, yeah, you need protection. Yeah, so so that that, that would be all right. So uh, I, I, just to give you a little information on what yeah. you need to actually apply for your uh, your right. concealed carry. So um, you would need to prove to the the chief of police of your uh, your municipality that your life is in danger or that uh, your Potential. life has the capacity to be in danger because you're uh, a high value asset to either a company or to you know to yourself or to you know into in general your business, your business. Yeah. exactly so like either you drop money at the end of the day for for your company or or you're you're you know you're um you're, you know you're famous or you're a celebrity something like that so you definitely have to you have to prove to them uh that you know that your life is in danger write some write some uh death threats in the uh in the comments yeah. below <laughs> <laughs> Set me up. Set me up. There you go. <laughs> Take care of me. There guys. you go. That's it. there you go. That's how you make it happen. You feel me? It's just shit. But don't mean them shits, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got answers. They're all pressing delete right now. Yeah. Oh, my, bad. my bad. My bad. Well, I got answers. So. You know so you need to prove to the uh, uh, police chief in your municipality that your uh, your life is in danger. You also need to get the uh, the. Signatures the, of homies. Uh, the, yeah. For, uh, well, not the homie, but the the signature of the the judge that's in your uh, municipality. So basically, the person who signs off warrants in your um, in your district. Uh, so basically, you have to have uh, proof to them uh, why you're fucking why you you need this permit, and then you also have to prove to the. Just give them a little envelope. 
Uh, <laughs> for lunch? Be like, we're going to lunch. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's pretty much how it works in Jersey for anything. So, I mean, I, 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 don't, know, I don't know why this was. Jersey this is so corrupt. Yo, it's ridiculous, fucked, bro. I don't know why that was. That's the reason our insurance is so high, my nigga. <laughs> like, niggas been running schemes and shit. Like, yo, it's Jersey's so fucking corrupt. Bro. Like from from the top to the bottom, it's ridiculous, man. Yep, that's ridiculous, crazy. Man. crazy. That and 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 the people that pay for all the corrupt shit is us, the working man. <laughs> yeah, right, that's yeah, just we pay fuck, for that bro. shit. We ain't doing nothing. I ain't scheming nobody for shit, man. Yeah, me neither, bro. Yeah, fuck. And we still get schemed, man. <laughs> Yo, seriously, nah, but yeah, man. That that you know what? I appreciate you dropping that knowledge right there for people because some people don't know that yeah. you know whose hands they got to fucking uh, palm, whose whose hands they got to grease up whose yeah, palms they got to grease <laughs> up. So now we know the judge, <laughs> the chief of police, yep. <laughs> you got to grease up a few palms. Honestly, he, he, I mean, he, like like I said before, he, a lot of shit that he's joking, but it's it's a, it's a reality. Yo, if you donate to your cops, your your uh, or their their fucking funds or their their four hundred one k's or their or their fundraisers, your name comes up on on, uh, on on public forum, like that you're donating to these people. So if you go to them and you're you're they happen to cross reference, you know some shit, yeah. And, and you your come up like, up, yep. oh, you know this oh, motherfucker, this does his, yeah, this motherfucker does his favor. So that's fucking, you know, let's do some positive for him. Because at the end of the day, it's like. At the end of the day, what sucks is it's, it's people that run, like, that decide. If you can have <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That's, like, the, I love how you said that. It's people. It's yep. people, bro. It's like, if God forbid we had a problem and you wanted to, and I'm a judge. We have, let, let's make pretend me and you have a problem. I'm a judge. And you want to get your license? Well, guess what, buddy? Since we have a problem, you ain't getting your license. And you know why? Because just because I feel like I don't want to give it to you. My nigga, my gun license, that just dude. talking about that. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I don't want to talk about that because I'm trying to get my concealed carry permit and I, I got to be cool with the city, so I'm going to shut the fuck up at this moment. <laughs> and shit. But nah, the first time with my gun permit, it was some weird shit. They was like, they literally sent me a letter saying no. I was like, what? Like, like it might yeah, literally, are like, you, no. Are you fucking Yeah, serious? pretty much, uh, uh, like, not literally, but it was it was more like, it was one it was sentence. Like, it was it's like, pretty it much was discouraging like, you. Yeah. yeah, it was like, nah, you know, at this time, we we decided we're not going to give you your gun permit. And I'm not a criminal. I don't have anything. I used to do graffiti, so I had, I've had, um you know, arrest for that. But right, right. nothing, no, no violence, drugs, no, drug no violence. drugs, no and violence. That's, that's mainly, that's mainly one thing. Please, people, stay away from violence. Stay away from drugs. Stay clean. All right. Continue. There you go. Continue. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. So, you know, that's how, I guess, I don't know. I did that, and then the next time I applied, I didn't even go through no, I didn't even go in to t talk to the detective. And, and, sh and then I spoke to, damn, I don't want to put this out there, but I did speak to the detective. And as a matter of fact, the detective that hired, that uh, first interviewed me the first time, he's actually retired, so it doesn't matter. And um, he was like, oh, you should. it should be no no reason that you don't get, I, yo, I went in there in the back, with, uh, this was at the time that it was like in style to wear fucking uh, jerseys and shit. Ding, 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 ding. So yeah, I was. I was oh, he had the, he had the, the two XL white. Nah, nah, I had the two XL. I had the, the <laughs> five XL uh, suit. I went to Macy's. I bought a suit jacket. Oh, that shit was huge, my nigga. I, I still owned it till a, till a couple months ago. I threw that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I come in looking like a clown, my nigga. At that time, I was a wild, nigga. I was broke. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I had a suit. Ja make it, was a it nice till you make it, baby. Yeah, yeah. I walked ahead and I told them, "Yo, I'm going." Because at that time, I, I was trying to open up another a, a business, so I was like, "I was like, yeah, I'm going to go in a business meeting after this." That's another reason I I need my gun license. So when I have my storefront, I want to be able to protect myself. So I told him, and he was like, "Yo, it should be no reason why not." And what it is is that you know when certain people like my father's a business owner around here and the property owner around here. So you know when certain people don't like you. They can exactly. do certain things, exactly. and I feel that that's what that was the case at that time. Yeah. But then when I came back for it again, they had no choice but to give it to me because I'm clean. I'm, I have nothing. So it's like, nah, this is a fucking law-abiding citizen. He exactly. deserves to protect himself. Exactly. Give him his gun license. And I literally didn't do anything the second time. I just went in, applied. A month later, I had my shit. And literally that day, I went, I went, I went <laughs> 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 yeah, let me get that shit, my nigga. Let me get my strap. He hey, said shit. domino. Yeah, yeah, but that's that. <laughs> That that was that was my 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 story. Now you know we get we we here we we're here for two hours and I enjoyed you guys' company wow, and shit. Bro. Yeah, Fine, bro. It, it's it. just when you're having a good time, like yeah, you know, it just fact, happens. Man. Do you have anything else that you want to put out there for the hood to to, to you know for um, the masses for them to know? Just you uh, for the masses, man. Just you know, people remember 
stay calm, stay collective, and just always be mindful of what you're doing. Think twice, you know what I'm saying? Because one fucking false move can change your whole entire life, you know? Or and, end uh, it. And, and end it. And, or <laughs> end it. And uh, always, always, always be, ta- always be tactical. When I mean always be tactical, I'm talking about know where you are, know who you're around, know your, know where, know your surroundings, who's next to you, who's not next to you. If there is somebody next to you, what are they doing? You know, just be tactical. Be tactical. Well, and child, they're kidnapping people. I appreciate that because I actually, before I, before you go, now that you said that, right, right. kidnap situation, I saw a video the other day. Some lady, this poor lady, man, she uh, had a, a shopping cart, and these two fuck niggas go. One dude is watching from the back of the car. The other dude's coming around. He asks her for the car, the shopping cart, right? He walks away with the shopping cart, looking back. Watching as his homies getting in the back seat. This lady goes, sits in the front seat, and it was over there. That's when the the the, the black dude comes around, and um, you know I don't know why I said the black dude, but it was a black dude and a white dude masked up, and uh, you know came around, got in her passenger seat. So what I'm thinking is that the guy got in the back seat, put a gun to her head, and told to get on the scoot over. Mm-hmm. My boy's coming. Hey, die there, die there. That's it. Because where they're taking you, my nigga, it's not going to be better than that. Yeah, facts. Die there. Fight, 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 motherfucker. That's how I told my kids, my nigga. I told my son that. And, and you know, I got daughters. I'm going to tell them. I'm going to train them. I'm going to teach my son. I mean, my, I t- I've told my wife, hey, man, any situation ever happens. Right. You fight, 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 fight right there. Don't think that there's something better coming out of this. Yeah, you right. fight to the motherfucking death right there. And somebody's pointing a gun at you and, and wants to kidnap you. Like wh- They're how, telling how, you to get in the trunk. Don't it, ever get in there. How is it going to get better than that? Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not going to the trunk, nigga. Nah. You shoot me, bro. Yeah. Right in the mouth. <laughs> shoot me, bro, because that's I'm not going nowhere, nigga. Fuck you know what? You don't You don't even have that much size on you, nigga. What's up? Put that down. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 no, but I'm just saying like 100%. Like, you know, don't ever get in the trunk. Yeah. Ever. Th- it's not going to get better from here, buddy. It's not going to get better. You die You die fighting or fight and get the fuck out of there. Yeah, you either die fighting or you die surrendering, bro. So, I mean, yeah, you know, just always stay tactical, man. Just, just watch who you're around. Watch who you be around and just stay tactical, my nigga. And just, you know, and... You know, shout out to BTS Solutions. Shout out to us. Shout out to No Chaser Podcast, man, for fucking blessing us. Whiskey No Chaser. There's another No Chaser Podcast, yeah. and he's not as good as me. I'm just kidding. That's Timothy <laughs> De La Ghetto, and that guy's is popping. His shit, Whiskey, that motherfucker. Whiskey No Chaser, man. Whiskey No Chaser <laughs> yeah. Podcast, bro. Just shout out to them, and and God bless the. God bless my man Hector here for fucking for for bringing us Appreciate on here, man, and showing Appreciate us love, you. man. Don't forget, man. Follow us. Well, you can follow me at kp kp underscore tactical. You can follow my boy at Achilles underscore what? No, Achilles seventeen ninety one. Achilles seventeen ninety one. I don't think I follow. Do I follow you? I gotta follow you. Yeah, you can just go on my page. You'll find him. Uh, I'll, I'll find you. Yeah. yeah. Um. You know, just follow us on IG because that's where we're moving our content right now. So just follow us on Instagram, man, and. Uh, I want to shout out my boy Coda too. You know what I'm saying? That's another one of my boys. Um, but yeah, man, follow us on IG so you can get fucking tactical and you can fucking see how we get tactical and you can just be educated about all this tacticalness. Cause this, I don't know if you've been watching the news, man, but shit is getting crazy. Protect yourself. Facts, facts. Before you wreck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Anything facts. else you got to say, Rio? Nah, I just wanted to uh, shout out again. Shout out to H- Hector and uh, Whiskey No Chaser Podcast for having us on. I appreciate the love that you've been showing us and giving us. Um, like I said, uh, again, shout out to, you know, follow my boy, KP underscore tactical, me, Achilles1791. And just to, just to boost my boy plug in here, if you don't mind. Uh, please, please. Who is too nice. If you want to check him out on some some DJ shit, uh, he, you can always look that up. But, yeah, I appreciate yeah, I was coming through and talking about, you know, the the whole Second uh, Second Amendment movement, talking about uh, firearms in general and fucking trying to get that knowledge out there and trying to boost us up there. Appreciate that, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. You guys, Yo. you two gentlemen are awesome. And, um, you know, I've been wanting to have somebody to come talk to me about some guns. Yeah. You guys got a home here, man. Um, so you guys, you know, any other thing, once the BTS shit starts that you, you know, you know, you want to come and break it down to people, you guys have a oh, spot here. Definitely going to definitely come back for that. You know, the podcast gonna. name would be, oh, we're going to have our be, special client right here. Yeah. I, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm oh, fucking with y'all, man. We got some special plans for you, bro. Yeah. I want to, uh, I want to fuck with y'all, man. We, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, what can I say? We're going to, we're going to tack you up. 
I, I would like that. You, you know what I'm saying? I got a tactical up. bracelet. I got a yeah, gun. I want to get tactical. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely yeah. get into, bro. We're yo, get into it. Where, yo, you two gentlemen are awesome, man. Thank I can't you, wait bro. to to uh, do uh, future things with you guys. It's going to be awesome, man. Hey, man, this Whiskey No Chaser B. See ya. Chapo 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 chapo